welcome to Back Issues. I'm Tiffany. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. And this is the month or the time of the year where we get to be spooky and do scary books. <laughs> and usually I'm a, I'm a pretty good gauge of those. And, and sometimes I'm not. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, some, sometimes we do a book on this channel because Sal encourages us to do it. Like after I read some of it and I'm like, we probably shouldn't do this. And he's like, but why not? And then uh, he, you've already matter, read half so of it. it. Might as well then, do all of it. And then he buys me the rest of it. So then I feel like, like I yeah, have to do it. it. And, yeah. now, and now we're here. Oh, it's the sunken cost fallacy. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, it's that. I'm gonna let you guys judge because I think there's some redeeming parts of this book. Well, the title is certainly awesome. Yeah, no, we're, <laughs> we're gonna be covering a uh, JLA Scary Monsters, a book that I picked up in a, a dollar bin nice. um, because I saw the, I had got You issues. saw the skater guy in the back with the milk mustache and you're yeah. like, man, skating is cool. Yeah, and scary. No, I saw issue three and four and I was like, okay, okay, what well, something's going on here. Hmm. In particular, I was interested in it because famed X-Men writer with like, I let's say like 16 years under his belt of writing X-Men, mm. Chris Claremont wrote this book. Wow. And I was like, Chris Claremont writing JLA, that has to be fun. Uh, this comes out in 2003, April-ish. Oh, okay. wow, this hmm. is a lot earlier than I thought. This is a lot later for him, because he wrote, he wrote, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, he wrote, yeah, he wrote in the right? 80s. He wrote yeah. X-Men in the 80s and he left comics for a while and he came back in like 95 writing like Sovereign Seven and doing some other things, but that's how he kind of got courted over to DC for a little bit, where he writes this and another Justice League book in the main title uh, called Tenth Circle. And, uh, but this is like this is like a mini series. This is one of six. So okay. this is just like six issues. It's its own thing. And that's very much how he treats it. That's how he thinks about it is that this is, it's like outside of the continuity, right? Which is why like there's members of the Justice League who aren't really currently on the Justice League. They just recently left the Justice League who mm. were in this book. He's like, yeah, but I wanna. He's like, I but wanna, I don't I care. This is a mini series. Who, right. who cares? I don't, whatever, right? Yeah, I can do my own thing. Right. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and like, the you know. Justice League is who I want it to be. Right. Or, yeah. The yeah. Justice League could be uh, Cyclops and Jean Grey and Rogue. <laughs> Well, I, well, we don't own those, Chris. Damn it. We'll get into the story and then I'm gonna give you a little bit more about it at the end. So you're gonna throw him under the bus and then like <laughs> give okay. him a, so a helping totally hand insane. out from under it. Uh, well, you'll have, to, you'll have to let me know. <laughs> you'll have to let me know how you feel about that. Picked this up just because of the fact that it was called JLA Scary Monsters. I was like, what a ridiculous it's title. It's an amazing it's title. It's an amazing title. It's so that. ridiculous. Scary, scary, scary monsters. monsters. Look at the cover. Ooh. What? Look at the cover. It's yeah, fantastic. look at that. There's scary monsters all over the place, right? Uh, the art in this is by Josh Hood. Did he do the cover, or is that something? No, that's Arthur right. Adams. Arthur Adams does the covers, and I think if Arthur Adams had done the whole book, it would have been mm. probably, Much probably received a little differently. Yeah. Oh, it was not well received. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> See, that's a problem because if you name your book Scary Monsters, you gotta deliver the well, goods. Well, yeah, and, and and some of this doesn't necessarily have to do with the fact that it it's like a bad title, or no one really knows what this book's gonna be about. It, it's kind of the fact that it's like. It's a different time period. Justice League wasn't doing the best at this time. It's not mm. doing horrible, but it wasn't doing great. You know, Morrison had just come and, and created like the JLA title, or sort of writing the JLA title and really set a tone for it. And some other writers have taken over in between. Joe Kelly's currently writing Justice League while this book is being put out there. And um, it, it just, it, it kind of got swallowed up. Right, I don't even know if people had known about it, if it would have sold better. But I think the first issue of this sells about 3,500 copies, supposedly. Mm. And by the last issue, it sold mm, close to 2,500, maybe a little more. That is, that's, a, that's very little by today's standards. Mm -hmm. And we're talking like early 2000s, right? So Yeah, when comics were a little bigger. Yeah, so there you have it, right? So this book takes place. What, do you think it may have been due to the fact that people at DC or the DC uh, fandom were like Chris Claremont, not buying anything from <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know if it was just people were kind of over Chris Claremont, if the fact that he was over at DC and it was like people really associated him with Marvel, he would inevitably be asked to come back to Marvel, and he, and he does do that. Um, I, it could have just been that, you know, people were like kind of over the Justice League for that time period for a bit. They were like, you know, we enjoyed the Morrison stuff. You know, we got some Wade stuff. Joe Kelly, they're like, it's fine, you know. Kelly, like people looking back on it now are like, I think people slept on Kelly's run on, on Justice League. Um, but it could have been a number of factors, but he doesn't really get enough time there to write that much to, to determine whether or not it was just the wrong voice for DC mm. or just, it's a, a writer from a different time. 
you know, I'm not reading his 80s X-Men run. It's a, it's a different time. This is 2003. I have to keep reminding myself. 2003. And while, yes, that is 20 years ago, at the time, here are some other books that are coming out. Superman Birthright. Superman Red Sun. 1602. Oh, Why the man. Last Man. Jeff Johns is on Teen Titans. Greg Rucka is on Wonder Woman. JMS is on uh, Spider-Man. Jeff Loeb and Jim Lee are, are doing Batman Hush. Bendis is doing Daredevil, Ultimate X-Men, and Spider-Man. Garth Ennis is on Punisher. Gail Simone is putting out Birds of Prey. Grant Morrison's doing the new X-Men. Mark Wade's on Fantastic Four. And Mark Miller's on The Ultimates. And in the midst of all of that, you get Chris, scary Chris monsters. Kramer's gonna be like, all right, JLA, <laughs> scary monsters. <laughs> So it's just, it's a different storytelling sensibility in yeah. the midst of things that are, are taking a turn. Like things Getting have- Getting serious and crazy. Yeah, things right. have changed in the comic book like landscape. And we're gonna put out this book that, honestly, if you took the some of the ideas here and try to modernize it, I'm like, there could be something here. Yeah. But that's not what we got. Mm. And it doesn't push the envelope for the time when it came out. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh, no at all. I'm excited and, for this and, now. And, this is going to be great. In fact, I, I want to mention, too, that like if you were to find this, because I think this is the only way you can find it, mm -hmm. is in these floppies. Chris Claremont seems to have a really uh, a fascination with um, Native Americans, indigenous peoples, like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. He's a writer from another time. This is back in 2003. So they use terms like Indians a lot mm. and they refer a lot to that culture and they make them mystic. So there's a lot of like stereotyping and it's a lot of cultural appropriation. Um, I don't think it's done out of disrespect. I right. think he respects it, but doesn't know how to do it any better. And if you see concepts in here and you are interested in them, I recommend not taking what Chris Claremont has to say <laughs> for it about it as like, rule and go and research it yourself. Yeah. Um, there's lots of uh, resources out there to teach you about that sort of heritage. Is there a Wendigo in here? There's no Wendigo in here. But they do cite things that I know have significance. I am not a historian of mm. Native American culture, so right. I'm not gonna pretend like I know for <laughs> sure, but I do know that they hold significance to right. some tribes. Like maybe because, he read a book. Right, Because, <laughs> but that's the other thing too, is that like there are lots of tribes and they all have a, like different cultures, yeah. right? And yeah. we kind of treat them as like, Kind of just like and the planes, oh, like yeah, Indian. and I'm like, yeah, like big same. Yeah. kind of like they're like big, and I'm like, oh, so Stop. just just as a heads up, that's where we're going. It's 1877. All right, we're just, the Justice League wasn't around in 1877. No, we have to establish some lore here that he's making up, uh -huh. right? Right. Uh, we're reading from the journal of Abel Abel Carmody, Carmody, and uh, he is uh, a, a a black man who was a Freed slave and, and fighter, uh, presumably in the Civil War. Guess what they're doing? It, it's nothing good, they're right? They're burning Native American villages. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're going after them and, and people, like, some bodies people like Abel are like, this is messed up. But like, you know, this is what we're doing here. And, and he serves he, he serves directly under a gentleman by the name of Le Lincoln Freeman, who don't get attached to this character. I don't know why we have a big one page like yeah. opening splash, like he's the main character, because he's not. Like he's, he's not, no, it doesn't matter. Like he doesn't matter. And I'm like, cool, all right. Wait. Abel Carmody is the guy that we're gonna care about. <laughs> okay. okay. Which is like annoying and frustrating. And it took me a while to be like, what? Yeah, who is this? Okay, that's confusing. Additionally, Josh Hood here tends to have a lot of same face for some folk. So if they're not like colorful costume characters, sometimes you're like, wait. Wait, which guy is that? Wait, well, who is that? Okay, cool. D doesn't matter, everybody's gonna die anyway. <laughs> um, so the colonel that they're serving under, uh, who, who has you know taken charge of not only his own battalion, but the, um, you know, Lincoln Freeman's battalion, they're gonna, they're like, oh, you know, these, these, these Native Americans, they were idiots and they should have defended into the valley that's over there. Like if they had fought in the trees, we would have never been able to find them. It would have taken us way longer to get them, but they didn't do that. They, they fought back here among the mountains and that was stupid. So we're gonna ride in there. You guys finish doing the dirty work, burning the bodies and then meet us down there. And they're like, cool. So his battalion like takes off and Lincoln's there with his guys and they're like, I look at this cause he's a strategist like Lincoln. And he's like, and I feel like it's not that they picked the wrong spot. It's that the spot that they picked was defensible from whatever would be coming from the valley, not from the plains where we came from. Oh. So like, what was that what all about? What were they so scared of? Right, exactly. Mm. Was this a scary monster? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, could be the title <laughs> of the book. 
So they're like, well, maybe we, we should have asked the, the old man. And they're like, why don't we like tell Abel to you know let him out? And in one of the covered wagons, they saved two members of the tribe. Mm. So uh, I wouldn't say saved. I'd say kidnapped. No, no, they <laughs> saved them. They saved them. They're like, like Abel's in there, like keeping them. Like, like if any of the other battalions come in, oh, he's like, he's supposed like to like his group rescued them. Yeah, from the other Lincoln's soldiers. group saved yeah. them from the colonel's guys, and uh, he's like, okay. he keeps them safe in there. And it's this old man and his granddaughter. The guys who just went into the valley, they're dead, and they should be because they suck, mm. right? They just killed like my entire people. Yeah, screw them. They can go and, and die. You guys, you're in it now. Sorry, <laughs> like something's coming. You're in a horror movie yeah, or book now. Yeah, so there's nothing you can really do about that. <laughs> and uh, the grandfather's like, and I and I I don't know if I have the strength to stop it. And they're like, what? And his granddaughter is like, listen, my dad. <laughs> he's seen now. He doesn't know what he's <laughs> yeah, talking about. No, 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 no. She's like, my my grandpa, is, like he he has helped to like shaman our tribe and 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 you know helps to keep this like evil out and my dad was supposed to take up his mantle and he was supposed to fill in and he had like the the knowledge and power and ability to do that and you guys killed him basically Oops. killing yourselves so eat it um <laughs> i technically have his blood and his like and should have his power but i don't have the knowledge to do it mm, right, I'm so not ready. but with his knowledge and my power we can combine Right? You would think that. No, Grandpa's like, no, nah, I'll just do it. It's fine. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll put a, a, a stopper on this for right now. But they don't get a chance to do that huh? because they get attacked by like some monstrous parts. Like you don't know what, what they are. What is even happening? It's supposed to be. It, this is this is on purpose. Later on, it'll be less on purpose and more like what the what. Nah. This is supposed to be chaotic because like the guys are like right, we out of nowhere. we didn't even see it. It right. just it just came for us and then people started dying. And right? also like, how do you draw that? Like, you just kind of draw things. Yeah. And yeah. this is also like, you know, re recollected from memory. We're reading someone's journal. Exactly. So at the end of the day, that battle does not go well. And only <laughs> Lincoln and Abel, the granddaughter and the, and the grandfather are, are left. Did they run away? Do they fight it off? Oh, no, it leaves. And they're oh, like, it why just did comes it, They're like, why did it in. leave? They're right. like, it killed everybody and then it left. Like, what the heck? So grandfather's like, all right, so like what I can do is essentially I can go with you, Lincoln, and I can strengthen the, the, the barrier that's kind of keeping this thing in for right now, but like I won't have done it well enough, like my son should have done, mm. um, but it'll be enough. And then like granddaughter, you're gonna have to figure this out on your own for when it happens again. <laughs> Good luck. Right, okay. So. Can we get some uh, sad violin music playing in the background, like the normal documentaries we get? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can we get like some 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 Ken Burns stuff <laughs> going on here? Whatever came against us, we'd give a good account of ourselves. I didn't see what happened next, and for that I thank the Lord with all my heart. One of the wagons exploded, and suddenly, everywhere you turned, there was screaming and blood. Lincoln packs up Abel and and the girl on a horse and, and like Abel's like no I want to stay and like, yeah, they, and, and Lincoln like, no. like laughs at him he's like you can barely sit on that horse with that girl holding you on that horse mm. no you're gonna go here's a note I, I wrote for you that says that you're excused from the army no um it says it, it, it gives an account and basically <laughs> I know we can get notes for that yeah it, it, it's a it's a note that sets him up as a hero so that like you know he'll be taken care of when he gets back he's right. like because like. Uh, Lincoln's like, you know, we were both born into slavery and now we have freedom and I'm not willing to give that up for anything. So like, I'm gonna go die with this old man. I'm not, mm. you know, if he says it's bad as it all that, it won't matter. Like either you're gonna get out of here and you're gonna be a free, like you're gonna continue to be free or we're all gonna die apparently. So right. this thing's gonna take over the world, I guess. Presumably. Yeah, or at least the state. Yeah. yeah. Freeman's not gonna like turn his back and like also try and run away at the risk of their all other lives. Right, right, right. So like Lincoln's like, a cool guy. And I'm like, it's really too bad we don't get more of him. Mm. But they take off on the horse and behind them there's this huge fire explosion and they swear in the, in the like fire, they can see the faces of like her grandfather and Lincoln. And it's like, ooh. Mm. Mystic battle of flames. Smash cut to 2003 the moon where the watchtower is and we're gonna do a quick check-in on our justice league members right like wonder woman she's like hiking in new zealand right she's on call batman he's on call i love the batman one because he's just beating the hell out of criminals in a car i really enjoy that on call she's on call and having a hike with children <laughs> And, yeah. he, and he's on call he's just... on call and he's working yeah no no they're both working she's being a diplomat and you know a 
Babysitter, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> and humanitarian. Camp counselor. But here's the thing. <laughs> he would have an easier time leaving than she would. She has these kids to take care of. That's He's true. like, oh, you need me? Yeah, hang on a second. Wham, you're yeah. unconscious. There, D nailed it. I, I did oh, it. Batman. Um, we see that uh, John Jones is a uh, Martian Manhunter, obviously, um, but he responds to, uh, he's at this house where the police have arrived and uh, he like rips the door off and then as he's walking into the house, he changes his form to be that of um, the, the detective that he, uh, Detective Jones that he plays often. Mm -hmm. um, and who would have thought John Jones was John Jones? <laughs> Why does he rip the door off? Uh, to, to, to get in. Yeah, can't he face Isn't through that it? that very suspicious? I guess there was a crime there. He's there there was a, a there was a crime. Okay, all right. Damn it, Jones! You're a walking catastrophe. It's reckless carnage wherever you go. <laughs> How did you rip that door off with your bare hands? You know, I you're but a man. This morning, Cap. <laughs> exactly. Now, presumably, what we get um, from this is that like he 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 made the situation be under control and saved the young girl who was inside with a bunch of older guys. Mm. Oh, because he's like psychic. I think I think because he probably or because he like you know phased into their faces and I, I, we don't see any of that it doesn't matter like uh, another officer comes up to him and is like hey Jones you don't even have a badge like, it's very oh. like po police procedural like right. you know what are you doing he's like who cares what I'm doing like we got the situation under control and like you guys will take the bows and the girl's safe that's what matters right and that guy's like ooh <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being talked to like that yeah I'll have your ass Jones. <laughs> I want your badge and your gun. Well, I already have your badge. <laughs> mm. I want your gun. I don't carry a gun. All right, I want, I, I want the pen out of your pocket. And then we check in on Superman. This is also a, a great sequence where it's like Superman location, like uh, you know, fighting a, a USSR Russian robot, right? <laughs> Superman in Rwanda. Superman saving a cat or saving a bird from a tree and also rehoming a cat. And then he comes home. You see all these other places that he's been. And he comes home and Lois has fallen asleep at her desk working. It's the morning, she wakes up, and he's like, oh, and I brought breakfast, and it's from all over the world. Who oh, else sure. is in the Justice League in these books? Because in this I book? saw on the cover uh -huh. Plastic Man. Oh, he's in this. And, and he's one of the characters who had left a, like, a little bit before this, mm. of like of the regular Justice League book. Ah. Claremont's like, no, 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 I want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I want to, I want to, who cares? It's a, it's a, it's a mini. Right. Who cares? This happens any time. I saw. Except it's definitely 2003. <laughs> <laughs> it said it. I know. I saw a lady on the cover. Yeah, okay. Who so, is that? who? So that's Jade. She's another Green Lantern. Oh. So we've got Kyle Rayner. We've got Wally I've West. I've heard of her. Okay. And we've got you know Soups, Wonder Woman, Plastic Man, Batman, and and Mark Schmidt here. That's okay. our Justice League. So it's a pretty normal -ish pretty -ish lineup. Pretty normal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, we, we, there's always a Green Lantern. There's typically a Green Lantern presence. There's typically a yeah, Flash presence. A Flash of some kind. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got two. The Trinity's on there. John. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Jade and, is the and, one I was like, I have no idea. Who yeah, that is. and is, also Plastic Man. You're like, cool. Uh, why? Is, is Jade, why is everyone so obsessed with Plastic Man? I just don't get it. Because he can look like so anything. Fun. Yeah. I like to draw cool crazy draw. things with a face on it. Look, it's Plastic Man. Oh, you're going to get a chance to draw some crazy stuff in this then. Well, I would hope so. Otherwise, what's the point of putting Plastic Man in? Kyle Rayner and uh, Jade are, uh, they're banging. Mm. Okay. Right? Like, he got over his fridge girlfriend. Well, they're dating at least. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and they're at a resort. Yeah, they go on a trip. They're on like a double date vacation uh, with, with Wally and Linda. So... They're gonna go and they're gonna have a relaxing time, right? They're they are on. That's what they think. They're on. Yeah, that's what I they mean, think. Isn't every Justice League are always on call? Right. Yeah. Right. And everyone's yeah. on call. Yeah. But hey, they, Dark Side's they, attacking the Earth. On call. Mm, I'm not on call hey, right now. Hey, I'm not. My shift is I was start. scheduled for vacation yeah, this week. Yeah, I, I put that in like seven weeks ago. <laughs> Sorry. You're just gonna have to deal with it. You should have your your lack of planning does not <laughs> constitute my emergency. Is what yeah, I'm saying. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. You know what? I'm sorry. All you're I'm right. gonna say is we'll figure it make out. me work Thanks. on this. We'll make right. it work. A, I get overtime, and B, we're gonna talk to HR about this. <laughs> so they arrive at this like incredible looking resort, which this is kind of like I feel like Claremont has done this a couple of times, where it's like people go on a vacation and then oh something happens, right? Mm -hmm. um, this of course also kind of gives you like the Shining vibes. Randy oh, they're gonna be scary a monsters place in at this place. Mountains. Yes. Yes, but it really has nothing to do with that. It's just oh. like I like I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's interesting, right? When they arrive, um, they're like, oh, like what a, an amazing place! And how they how do they get here? Not because Wally and Kyle and Jade are on the Justice League. They're there because Linda has an in as a reporter. <laughs> oh, 
Is, is she writing a story about this place? I don't know. And I don't know why they felt like they needed to put this in here, but like <laughs> they noted it. And I'm like, we have to explain why they're on vacation. Yeah, why, why would these guys be at such a fancy place? And I'm like, you I don't understand. really question that. Uh, you don't get paid as Green Lanterns and you don't get paid as The Flash. So like, uh, you know, how would they afford it on their budget of no money? But you're still superheroes. Don't people like be like, oh, come come here. Come, you just come yeah. influence. No, me. they Wait, don't. No, I thought they had <laughs> secret identities. <laughs> well, she's green. Yeah, so, so it's kind of hard. So Jay's not going to have one. To hide that one. Uh, Kyle Rayner has one, right? I'm part vegetable? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Which part? <laughs> the topical layer. Meanwhile, hotel manager William Hume is uh, greeting four uh, firefighters. There's been a fire burning since 1876. <laughs> They're like, listen, like there's, there's been a lot of fires this year, so like we're kind of spread thin. This is what you got, but we're more than capable of like handling things. Handling what things? They're concerned uh, because the valley is overgrown and that ah. they're worried that things like just the conditions are right. Right. For there to be. Uh, one spark will set this whole place ablaze. Yeah, yeah that okay. kind of thing. Of the team of firefighters, you meet Kashana Lewis. Just keep that in mind. And like Linda's like, I see smoke on the horizon. <laughs> no, we're on vacation. No, you don't. So, no, because no, I don't want to deal with they it. They suit up and they go out there and they fly on out there. So, like, Kyle gives. Wally a jetpack. That's awesome. Oh yeah, because he can't run and, there. Well, like, they, want, they want to travel together. Maybe like, they just I'm want to chat. I'm kind of tired. Can you give me like a jetpack? Yeah, or like, you know, that way we can keep talking. Yeah. I don't know, we're having a good time. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, they'll talk so that, you know, Wally doesn't get there first and solve it. Yeah. <laughs> you so, gotta give me something to do this time. Wally. Yeah, come on. Come on, I'm here with like a new girlfriend. Get it, like, get, let me show off a little bit, all right? You already got married. You got a wife, all right? Come on, give this to me. Uh, so when they get there, all they find is Kashana Lewis. Uh, and Kashana is, is just like, there's nothing there, right? And Kyle's like, where's the rest of your team? And she just keeps saying, I left them in the fire and then I made the fire. Oh. And they're like, uh, cool, okay, well, she's she's gone. She, there's, you she know, went bye-bye. Kashana's right. gone bye-bye. Mm -mm. Uh, Kyle uh, puts her like in a little dome to keep her safe. She's like, wait to get out of here, you're gonna die too. Ah! Uh, he makes like a big fan and like pulls all the Sucks smoke and the fire. Yeah. Flash is like, dude, this was like a blast furnace in here. There's no way. And yet, as I'm looking at this body of one of her teammates, they're not scorched at all. It's almost like they're not even dead. And that's when he like, he's like, we're alive. And like, you're like, okay. And, and we have enter some scary monsters, right? Uh, okay. Zombies, oh, I it's, guess. Oh, it's people. People are the scary people monsters. People are the scary. I mean, like, it's oh, all about climate it's all, change. It's very deep, right? <laughs> and they have a big fight. Right. Okay. So like they realize they're like, okay, so um pretty sure that these guys were transformed essentially into something. I mean well, one of them has Freddy so. Krueger fingers. Yeah, they got Freddy Krueger mm. fingers oh, and, wow. like, oh, okay. and like really scary teeth and glowy eyes and, and you know. Yeah. So Flash News starts to make a run for it. Kyle is is fighting them. Um, but has noticed that his constructs are not strong against them. They're oh. like busting through them. Hmm. And Flash is noted Oh, is uh, it because the fire is yellow? What? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but no. Um, the Flash has noted that they're catching up to him. He's like, what? What is happening? That's right? weird. He's like, I can't outrun them. You have to get us out of here. Yeah, but they can't fly. Oh, they can fly too. Right. Oh, yeah. screwed. Do they have the speed force? Nope. How do they keep up with Wally? <laughs> oh, you'll find out. They're okay. spiritual. Um, and, and... Are they like phantasms? No, they're not phantasm. One of them starts burning, which causes the forest to kind of set on fire, starts to combust. So like, Again? Kyle throws them into like a bubble to try to save them, but like he can barely hang on. Like he's like having a really hard time keeping the bubble up. Hmm. And then when he when he like reopens it, everything's been burnt to a crisp, but like it's gone. And the Justice League are there. Hmm. And you're like, okay, cool. Okay. And um, when you say the Justice League are there, the rest of them. Right. Is Jade also? Okay, she is good. Because yeah. yeah, she like, showed up. Now she's still poolside. Presumably. <laughs> she's like, I'm on vacation. Right. Excuse I'm me. Not. No, I put in my notice. Mm -hmm. um, no, presumably she called them. We don't right, see that, right. which is weird because we got the reasoning as to why they're in the hotel, but we don't see her contacting the Justice League or find yeah, out that she did. I got did. time for that. I only got six. Oh, issues. it's a forest fire. <laughs> they should have been back uh, within ten seconds. Yeah. Okay. Right. So obviously something happened. Right. Um, in the next issue, Wally and Kyle are like recuperating from their like fight. They seem like they were kind of they're okay ordeal. at the end of that one, but yeah, I guess it was- really happened to them. Yeah, I mean, they got beat up a bit. Their egos were highly bruised. They're definitely <laughs> egos were bruised. 
yeah. Um, it's like, I just don't know if I can go back out there after yeah, that. Yeah, they, they need some aloe for the for the sick burns <laughs> that they that they receive. Yes, uh, and, and, and I'm not talking about the flames. I'm not talking about those. Yeah, they're they're on my soul. Um, <laughs> so what they decide to do is they, they ask uh, Jean to like go go tell us what happened and so we literally get like a recap of what just happened and i'm like this is issue. oh so you didn't have to buy issue one you didn't have to buy issue one you just like oh cool like how do they get to this hotel that's how what i really want to know why are they even here and i think batman's like there has to be more right like there has to be more than like john's like there might be but i can't push this any further because there's only so much their minds can take Come on, they're fragile. Okay. Like, look who I'm talking about. They're, they're I do love. I do love human Wally. Flesh bag. Um, but uh, Jay notes that like their vital signs aren't great to begin with, and so he's like, "Don't, don't." She's like, "Don't mm. make them like go any worse. Like, don't have Jean push it any further." Yeah, don't oh. don't tread right. further into their minds. You're killing them. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, she doesn't Stop. do that. Jean looks a little shaken too, and Soup's like, "What's up?" And he's just, "It was fire." That's I can't. literally it. He's like, "No." Nah. He's like, it, "It wasn't just that it was fire." He's like, "It was like, uh, it was like an elemental st- like state. It was like, it was like, it was tangible. Oh, okay. It was. I'm sorry. It wasn't an elemental state. It was like a tangible entity. He's like, there was something there. It's like a flame like demon or something. There was like, and I. He's like, I, I don't know. It, it really upset me. Mm. Wonder Woman and Superman bring Kyle and um, the and the Flash back to the hotel. Jade's gonna stay with them because she needs to stay and guard the base. <laughs> Get her out of here! Don't want her in this. Every time Jade comes up, she will end up guarding the base inevitably. Oh she God. does a couple of things, but not really. Oh, like we're gonna have Flash guard the base? Justice uh, of elimination. I mean, Flash can even out of commission. Yeah, he's the perfect person oh, well, to guard yeah. the base. What about Plastic Man, everybody? I put him in this book so he could do things, not sit at home. Oh, so he could be a, a whip-making machine because that's what he does in here. It really, like, just... It's Great. Like, it's a little cringy. Like, I'm <laughs> like, 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 oh, stop. Uh, no. Plastic Man. I always feel that cringy. way about Plastic Man. I do, too. Yeah. And it's, like, particularly... I was like, no, stop. Oh, no. Stop. Please talk to her about Um They bring Kishana back. They're like, okay, so obviously she has to know something, right? Mm. Superman and Wonder Woman confront the hotel manager. They're like, okay, we need to call, like the police or whatever. And he's like, we're in the middle of nowhere. That could take like an hour or hours. Hmm. And, and Wonder Woman's like, well, then you better call now. Right. And he's like, okay, well, sorry. All right, fine. If Wonder Woman and Superman uh, tell you to do something, you do it. Yeah, well, I was hoping you would just stay here forever and take care of all our problems. Yeah, could you just do that? Um, so Jean is going to take another shot at his, using his, his mind abilities, um, we have a telepath. We might as well use him yeah. on Kashana, right? He's like, I'll, ah. I'll just go. Yeah, she's not unconscious. I can. Right. So yeah. he like changes be into too much for her. you know John well, Jones. And not only that, but like I'm sure this won't backfire on me. Right. Mm. He changes into John Jones and shows up, and and you know, she's just you know she's talking. She's like, they trusted me, and I killed them, and and you know, like I I, I, I ran away, I left them to burn, and John's like, okay, but like. Why? She's like, I, I don't remember. She's like, I just, I, I was cold. <laughs> and you're like, okay. But you were in the middle of that's, fire. That's a pretty good reason to start a forest fire. Sure. I was, I was cold. <laughs> I was, was cold chilly. Like I, sh- I could have brought a jacket, but I was just, yeah. I figured, why not? If you set the whole forest on fire, you don't even need to be that close to it to no. feel warm. No, you'd be good. Um, yeah. she, then she finally looks at him and she like, and she's like, oh, she's like, I'm sorry. Like, cause she was staring at him. She's like, oh, it's just that your skin looks kind of green. And he's like, in his mind, he's like, what the hell? Why can she see what I look like? Mm. And he's like, maybe I can use this, like, to get to gain her trust. So he turns back into Jean Jones. And she's like, and he's like, you know. Oh, yeah, because if there's one thing people trust, it's a shapeshifter. Right. <laughs> right. Well, he's like, no, I'll just show her who I really am. Yeah. He's like, oh, okay. see, this is who I really yeah. am. Oh, so you were lying to me before. <laughs> oh, but I, what? Uh, I was just well, doing I it for you because uh, I didn't want you to freak out because everyone always gets really scared of me because I'm so hideous. <laughs> and he's like, you're not afraid? She's like, why? She's like, you're on the Justice League. Yeah, right? like everyone knows who you are. What are you talking like, about? Like, what, what does it matter what you look like? And he's like, oh, okay, uh, oh. cool, huh? Keep, keep it together. Come on, John, don't blow this. <laughs> She's like, here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna go in, I'm gonna see what happens. She's like, all right, whatever, go for it. If it can help, I don't, sure. I don't care. Goes in there and he sees this being a fire standing there. And she's like, you can't, you can't, you gotta get out of here. You can't stay here. It's bad. It's really bad, all right? You, you just have to get out of here. And he and she starts making this wall of fire, and he's like, "Okay, but it's not like to, like to st- to hurt me or to stop me. It's like to protect us." So he's like, "What the heck is this?" He pops back out, and she's like, "Okay, I'm ready when you are." And he's like, "But, but I just I did d- it." 
Mm. Who am I talking to right now? Yeah, what's happening? Mm. Meanwhile, um, the hotel manager is like, oh, hey, uh, Wonder Woman, can you like do me a favor? There were some people out on the lake and they got into a boating accident and can you go help them? And like, it's like, this is a nightmare scenario. <laughs> there was a boating accident and the boat went down and there's like a rowboat out there trying to get people out of the water. And one guy's like wrapped up in stuff, trapped <laughs> underwater where the boat went down. And if Wonder Woman was in there, he's dead. Like, that's it. It's yeah. over for him. Right? I, I like the way you describe this. He's, he comes to Wonder Woman and was like, hey, uh, Wonder Woman, uh, if you have a second, like, could, yeah, could you, you maybe like, help? This guy's, like, actively drowning. drowning? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, if it's possible, if yeah, you're not too busy. I, yeah. Well, he it says, he goes, there's an emergency out on the lake, some kind of boating accident, if you could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so it is very much like, you know, if you get yeah. a chance. Okay. And now that we look at the hotel manager, he's creepy as hell. Yeah, this, this it's guy's not It's almost like he's a up. red flag. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right? He has no pupils. Or is it the haggard life of <laughs> the hotel This is what the artwork uh, demands of us. Or is this what it's meant to look like? Right. You'll find There's out. There's no way to know. Uh, there is. Um, <laughs> so she goes in there, she saves the guy. She like, just frees him. She doesn't take him up to the server. She's like, hey, you, you can There, you can swim. You, you, you got, got legs. I'm not your mother. I unwrapped you from the thing that you were tangled in. All Go right. on, man. I gotta move you to the surface, too? Oh, okay. Jeez. Just Lazy. <laughs> you already have the air in your lungs. You'll eventually float up there. Yeah. Y'all will be all down right. Here. Um, but she notices something, and, like, it calls her attention. And she, like, she's like, oh, hang on. Like, she goes back up to the surface, checks on everybody, and then they're like, okay, you, you're not gonna come with us? She's like, no, I wanna, I wanna look at something. She goes back underwater, and she sees, like, the like remains of like a covered wagon and like an old gun and all that stuff. And then there's like these like skeletons everywhere. They're horses and guys, but then there's always these crazy skeletons. Right. And that she's are like, neither horses nor guys. They're definitely neither one of those two things. <laughs> there's something new, in fact. They're mini mastodons. Yeah. Or fish things or whatever's. It's all I know clear. is that like Wonder Woman is like, I've never seen anything like this. No. And I'm like, and I've okay. seen a lot. I've seen, I've seen a, a lot, lot of, of crap. stuff, yeah. So she wants to get a closer look at it, so she, so she does. And yeah, while, she knows mystical things. Right, and while this is happening, Batman and Superman are doing stuff together because you're like, hey, you know what? I'm reading this book, I, I want Batman. What's yeah. he doing? What's Batman doing? I want Batman teaming up with Superman. With Superman doing something, to do, right? To do stuff. Batman's and, checking on Alfred. And it, <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Um, and admittedly, I do like Claremont's voice for Batman a lot of times because for some reason, I have a really easy time reading his dialogue with Kevin Conroy's voice. <laughs> like the dialogue okay. he writes for Batman, I'm like, I hear Kevin Conroy's voice and it's really cool. And I'm like, that's really fun. His Superman is interesting because his Superman, uh, their, their relationship is less like, they're friends, but they're also like, kind of like, sort of trying to one up each other, like in like a playful, fun way. And Superman's like, I'm also a detective. And I'm like, but you're not. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you were gonna be like, <laughs> I hear Kevin Conroy's voice when I do the Batman. And when I read Superman, it's Gilbert Godfrey. But no! <laughs> no, it would be Tim Daly then. Superman takes a good like loop of the forest to see what's going on because uh, here's what's weird. Everything grew back. The forest grew back. What? Yeah. After like, it was burnt to a crisp. Like real fast. Oh. Like poison ivy was so, almost like creepy fast, like <laughs> right. Like, so like it either never burned in the first place, or it like magically regrew. Yeah, or like it's, nature finds a way. Yeah, mm. no, no. Like Batman's like it, it's growing at a fantastic rate, and, and if you came back in a month, you wouldn't even know there was ever a fire here. Hmm. And you're like, okay, cool. Superman's like, I noted that while I was flying around. Uh, first of all, he says that uh, he. he he examined the valley. There's a lot of like science in here, and I can't wait to get your opinion on some of the science. <laughs> okay. Like he examines the valley down to the microbial level, uh, uh -huh. and uh, does a full extent of the uh, electric magnetic spectrum, which uh -huh. I love because like Batman's like show off. But he notices that in the forest there's no life. Like not just people. There's no life no in animals. the forest. There's no animal. There's no nothing. Okay. But the like plants are there. Not even insects. Right. Like, there's nothing in the forest. They also note that the trees here have, like, a saturated, super saturated resin. And so, like, the forest would burn faster and hotter. Okay. They, like... Like it's designed to burn. Right. Like it was made of wax. Like it wants to die. Right? Like, it's like, ah, oh, that's what it's like. But, like, essentially it's set up, like, as though it were a catastrophe. Because it's, like, in this, like, bowl shape and everything. Like, it's mm, just... It's right. just grown to, to burn, right? <laughs> okay. Hey, if it's grown to burn, maybe it's grown to grow back Right. Grow fast. So 
this is like this is easily my favorite single moment in this book and because it's so understated and like it's like cool whatever but like I just really liked this concept a lot and we don't really explore it too too much but like they're having this conversation and all of a sudden Batman's like what's up Clark and Superman just goes I'm cold and Batman's like okay but you like fly through space <laughs> and you have a fortress in the Arctic right. he's like yeah but I'm freezing right now hmm. and they're like Okay, that's a, that's a problem. Like, why is Superman cold? Right. And I'm like, I love that. I really love that simple idea, the showing that right. like something's, something's affecting Superman yeah. right now, right? So I guess magic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there must be a ghostly presence if he's feeling cold, right? Yeah, someone's walking over his grave. Right, right. Ooh. So like, they determine that they're gonna go someplace to warm up, but before they do that, Superman does like one more like deep like look at like the bedrock here and notices that like. There's like a sequence of like, there's evidence of burning throughout the years, mm. right? Where it was like a thousand years and then like even further than that. But like the last time was like just a hundred years ago. 127 to be exact. <laughs> the fact that the trees there are old growth timber and he's like, what you wouldn't get from if they had like, if it had burned. Like just that ago, more, yeah. re that recently, right? right? And like Batman's like, how would you know this? He's like, cause I grew up on a farm. Right. And I also went on a special class trip when I was in like sophomore year I of high school. I read a book, And man. I have a super smart Kryptonian brain. Jesus, shut, give, hey, me, give me a break. Shut up. Voice. Other people are allowed to be smart besides just you. Uh, Bruce. no. <sighs> no. All right, fine. Yeah. Oh, I was wrong, it's I don't need, I don't need anybody. <laughs> I don't need you. Sure. I thought you were giving me bones. <laughs> no, I was being Batman. <laughs> I was like, yeah. There you go. All right. I love him so much, it's like, Batman's like, Ooh, Bob, son of a bitch. <laughs> Who took those bones? That I'm was gonna, not bones. I'm gonna kick your ass. That was not bones for you. <laughs> that was not bones. That was like a low grade punch. <laughs> While they're they're like, like measuring each other's dicks back and forth, uh, Batman's like, hold on, it's snowing. And it absolutely should not be snowing at this time of the year. Okay. Um, but we don't have time to worry about that because Wonder Woman's being attacked by skeletons. By bones. Because she tries to like, like swim up to the surface and like these beastie things that she found under the water like swim up and like bite her on the leg. And she's like, son of a... <laughs> so, you know, they're, they're coming from everywhere. One of them like skewers her arm. It's oh actually like God. really hideously drawn. Yikes. And she notices that every time that she gets scratched, bit or whatever, spikes are growing out of her body. She's like, huh. Oh, she's doomsday. I'm like, cool, <laughs> okay. So she's like, I need a weapon. So she grabs a gun and then she proceeds, it's underwater, it's ruins. And she uses it like a cudgel and she tries to like beat them off. Um, and then she it was realized- beat them off? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ignore it. <laughs> That's how far that was, I, I was ignoring I it. Had, I had that thought too and I was like, no. Like, damn it. <laughs> I'm like, well, I already said it. So, uh, she also, so after she's just done beating off all these monsters. <laughs> she fends them off, ish, but there's too many of them. They're coming from like all over the place. Mm. So she's like, oh, I'm just gonna go. So she's like, kicks off. She swims really, really hard and really, really fast up to the surface and then just slams into a wall of ice. What? Oh, cause oh. it snowed and it's frozen now right. and they're cold. And like, it's, it, it, it froze super fast. Right, it froze while she was down She's there. like, I think I just broke my jaw, first of all. <laughs> it's like the movie Legend. And she's like, now I can't get out. Yeah. I never saw a Legend. Nobody saw Legend, Ben. Duran hears a noise and he's like, oh no. He's like, okay, uh, you're, need, you're gonna need to think quickly. And uh, cause I, I can't defend us both. I have to get you to safety right now. And Batman's like, what? And then he just throws Batman out of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Tuck and roll. <laughs> and uh, then he fights some, some guys for a while and so we check it on Lois and it's so useless and who cares, right? It's just a big thing. <laughs> and like Superman's like, okay. Uh, oh, it's Diana. She's got the spikes thrown out of her arm. I love the fact that he's Clark, like- no, it's me. He, Superman essentially, it says the equivalent of, they're punching me and it hurts, like, in this book. <laughs> I mean, when things punch him, it doesn't It hurt doesn't normally. usually hurt, right, right. so that is remarkable. Right. He's, worth... he's like, these punches hurt. Oh, uh, that, that's Ow. Chris Claremont being like, I, I don't, know. I don't like this. He doesn't feel pain often. <laughs> right, so like, Superman's like, all right, so they're magic, got it. All right, I right. know that about them now. So he proceeds to try to fight them and he's like, all I'm fighting are like these pieces of things, but like I can't find like the the, the middle of this creature. Like where is this thing? Like where is the rest mm, of it? Right. Well, and, it designed itself like a freaking starship. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's hollow inside. <laughs> so, he's gotta find the mother ship. Uh, so he throws like a big tree at it since it's got that intense resin in it. He's gonna use his heat vision oh, and he's gonna and ignite it, it and kill it that way. Batman yeah. is falling. He's like, okay, so I'm going to assume he threw me in the right direction. 
I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, he really wasn't holding back there because I have plenty of momentum. Mm. Uh, so, oh, oh, there's the, the lodge. Cool. Got one shot at this <laughs> before I die. And uh, all right, good. I'm good. I'm safe. Why doesn't he just glide down with using his cape as like but a parachute or whatever? Because Chris Claremont forgot that he had that and oh. he has to use his grappling hook. I see. So Maybe uh, Batman didn't always have that. Right. No, he's just like, I really want to use my grappling hook. Right. I brought it. I don't always I float use with it. my cape. Sometimes I use a grappling yeah, hook. Yeah, sometimes I want my grappling hook. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Um, so he sees like this big like flaming, like or this explosion and then like what looks like a big monster and he's like, um... <laughs> Uh, a, a monster, you say? And then he's like, okay, but if that I was... I can't science this. He's like, if that was the thing that Superman was fighting, then where's... Oh, there he is. Superman's like, I tried. <laughs> oh, my God. So, oh, God. So Superman was, like, thrown from the forest. From the explosion? Yeah, and he's like, it was only one of them. It was only one, Bruce. Oh, my God. They are legion. What? And, and Batman's like, okay, um... That's not good. I'm gonna I'm a go. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave. I have something to do um, over there. And then they realize they're like, wait, where is Diana? <laughs> oh my God, is this how you humans where? feel every day? So we just cut to they found Diana. She's in the lake, and they're trying to like like get her out of there. So Kyle uses like an ice axe to like pick her out. But then mm. they realize that Not like what that's designed for every. Well, <laughs> it is for him. Uh, every time that they like chip away at the ice and they like free any part of her, the ice just grows back over her. It's like the ice won't let her leave. Mm. Hmm. This so, is very. Uh, you are correct. Um, uh, shining. Like a little bit. Like yeah. it's a little bit, but not really. But like not at all. But a little bit. <laughs> it really is. But not at all. Right. Like it's not. But but the things that are happening to them, it's like sometimes, oh, it's, it's all against them. Yeah, yeah. Everything's against them right now. Um. So then, like, you know, Flash tries to vibrate through. Um. Uh, Martian Manhunter and Superman try to use their heat vision. They're like, this should be vaporizing steel, and we just can't get through this ice, right? Mm. Uh, so Superman uses his vision and he takes a look at it and he sees that it's uh, that the ice is, is is sustained by a cold that transcends absolute zero. <laughs> no. <sighs> but it does, Ethan. It says no, it right there. No, but you can't. It's not physically possible. Well, it says that the molecular action is virtually non-existent. That is what absolute zero is. But it's 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 yeah, but it transcends, transcends that. it. No, it can't. There's nothing less than no motion. But no it, motion is the absence of motion. So the, the molecules are are vibrating in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's okay. even colder than zero. It's colder than absolute zero. So Plastic Man comes up with a plan. Uh, is he's it like, to lift the entire lake and shatter it into pieces? He's like, no. He's like, here's the plan. I got an idea. He's like, clearly, it's not like completely attached to her skin. There must be some sort of like slight gap. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into nope. the gap. And nope. I'm going. This is creepy. Yep. And I'm going to form over her body like a second skin. Oh, and like, Diana. And My he's God. like, and he's like, no, it's totally fine. Fine, don't worry about it. This is not creepy <laughs> or wrong or anything like that in any way, I shape, or I feel like if you have to say that, then... Uh... It flexes against the ice, which causes a whole bunch of cracks in it, which allows the other heroes to use their powers to, like, break it open. Flash races in really, really fast to pull the two of them out of there before the ice can regrow. And that's how they get them out. So... Do they tell her what they did afterwards? Because I, I get the feeling she'd punch you? him real hard. No. She's better off not knowing. Yeah, just... Don't 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 tell her that. I, as creepy as that is, that is kind of clever. Like I kind of like that idea. Right. Not that it's Plastic Man being a creeper about it. Yeah. But just like the. Because like he's like he like slithers up the front of her, and I'm yeah, like, and he's no. like got this big dopey grin on his face. Yep. Yeah. It's just it's just it's not okay. There it. This is not the end of Plastic Plastic Man being a creep in this book. I can assure <laughs> you of that. Oh, good. Great. I was worried. I know you were, but don't worry, I got you. Um. They notice a storm's coming in. They can't figure out how to get back to where they came from. Okay. But then Jade utilizes her ring to like send up a beacon. They're like, okay, cool, awesome. But then Superman's Good thing we like, left her to guard oh. the base. Superman's like, oh no, everyone's gotta get out of here right now. Don't argue with me. And we basically just do the same thing we did again, uh, where everybody leaves and they keep punching. And me. Superman's like, he's like, I know that like you're making myself a, like the obvious target. We'll give them the best opportunity to get out of here. So that's what I've done. And so he starts fighting these things again, and it's just it's just like arms and tentacles and things. And he cuts one of them, and he's like, oh no, it has acid blood too. And I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> so like he's like, oh no, I'm I'm totally screwed. But then the Green Lanterns. Like Jade and Kyle use their rings to make uh, fishing poles and they like reel him in. And then they shut the doors and uh, they're like, they're thinking about the castle and they're like, wow, those are really big doors. Why are the doors so, the castle, the, mm. the, the, Hotel. the resort, they're like, why are the right. doors so big and so thick? 
It's almost like it was designed to, to face to repel some to sort face of to, yeah threat yeah to repel to repel a threat of this magnitude. Um, Superman's like cool. Um, these must be the things that like Green Lantern and Flash uh, faced. Uh, clearly, that this is what this place was built for. And uh, I, I think it's safe to assume that Diana also fought them. And that's when Plastic Man checks her out, and he's like, uh, yeah, because she's starting to change into something. And, uh. and they're like, okay, awesome. So here's the thing. Uh, Batman just goes into Batman mode immediately, and he's just like, okay, Landrans, go do this. Flash, take my headset. I want a total recon of this place. You're going like, to call into me with everything that you see, because I can't do it that fast. That's uh, your uh, Batman mode? My Batman mode is, this doesn't involve Gotham. I'm out of here. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, Batman mode Alfred, is... come get me. I'm the smartest person in the room. <laughs> Everyone listen to me. Yeah, I'm in charge. <laughs> I have no powers, but I don't care. I, my powers being an uh, exceptional leader. <laughs> in my head, anyway. And telling you what to do. Yeah. Do it anyway! Do it! Come on, just let me have this. Um, Linda is there as well, because obviously she, you know, was involved with Wally as his wife. Um, <laughs> Wally, and, what do I do? Right, and, he, and she's like, he's like, I need you to be the liaison for me. I need you what, to make me a sandwich. What does that mean? He's like, I need you to like a take- A liaison? Yeah, to the people. He's like, I need you to take care of them. They're gonna be scared. I need you to like keep them like relaxed. The, pe okay. the people who are in this hotel, that's what you need to do, right? Hi, I'm Linda. I'm the Flash's wife. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. I'm we your see this designated stuff mom the for the evening. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's- Who wants a Rice Krispie Strap treat? in, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Batman's like, uh, John, go talk to Kish uh, Kishana because she clearly knows there has to be something else that, oh, that I forgot about her. Yeah, so let's yeah. Oh, my that. lovely firewoman. Yes, I don't mind if I do. Oh, I love her so bad. Right, and then um, Batman's like, oh, and Plastic Man, you and Wonder Woman, uh, you get Wonder Woman down to the nurse, the doctor, whatever they have on premises, <laughs> and get yourself checked out as well. And Plastic Man's like, but I can't get hurt, Batman. Don't you remember? And as he's saying that, he looks down, and he's like, all these cuts in his body, and he's like, that's from Wonder Woman's body from her, the thorns that were on her body. He's yeah. like, nothing can, well, okay. Yeah, I'm frictionless. He's like, yeah. I'm having a problem here right now. Mm. Batman's basically like, we're just, we're gonna have to like use this lodge as our stronghold and that's it. And then Superman gives him a line about like, that's what Davy Crockett said about the Alamo. And Batman's like, dude. <laughs> all right. Just take it down a peg, right? Uh. Like I'm the brooding <laughs> like person over here, not you, all right? Just, right. We can't have two of us. So Superman's like, I'm going to the library. I'm gonna read up on this place. I'm sorry, this resort has a library. Yes, because this resort is Abel Carbody's old house. Oh. He built this place. So after Abel Carbody uh, came back and uh, he ended up getting essentially married to that Native American woman that he met, um, he ended up becoming an industrialist and a philanthropist. Oh. And, and a bicyclist. bicyclist. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back here, he earns his fortune, and then he proceeds to build this lodge, which people often refer to it as Carbody's Folly because it was stupid looking. It's big and thick and, and needless. Why would you and like, need to and there's build nothing those out here. Doors. Like, yeah. there's nothing out here. Why did you do this? And he's right? got terrible looking escalators. His yeah. wife ends up overseeing the construction of their home, and she dies here, and he never sets foot here. Okay, so this place was built by him specifically to help the world fight off these monsters someday. What? <laughs> Superman realizes like, like the place is made out of granite and like there's like really thick everything and like the, the walls are about a meter thick and like there's all these other things and like- mm. And who uh, knows how many hectares deep. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? <laughs> But, and obviously the threat is from the valley and like he's he's like, oh, and there's all these books in here about the occult and just this whole thing. He's like, this library is like, um, the, a lot, the information on the Plains Indians and artifacts and all that stuff is like, you know, you couldn't find this in like some of the top ranking universities, that kind of crap, right? Uh -huh. He's like, all right, cool. He's, you know, everything's awesome. Mm. Um, he gets, obviously he gets like a migraine from all this information. It, what? He does say his head is, is killing him, right? Like oh, he's, he's like infected or something? Oh, uh, it's because he got beat up. He's just like, everything hurts. What I don't is understand. this? understand. Why am I even pain knowledge everywhere? Hurts. Like, oh. All my joints are aching. Like, what? Like, how my do you muscles live are sore? like this, God. everyone else? Ew. Oh. Ew. We take a Tylenol and we move on. Oh. It's awful. Oh, I, don't I want hate it. it. <laughs> I want to go home. Would, would you like a juice box? No, maybe. Mm, what flavor? It's fruit punch. Okay. It's your favorite, buddy. But don't put the straw in. I want to do it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, you're a big boy, you can do it. That's right. Flash does his recon, and as he's running like running around, he's like, okay, so there's a catacomb that like extends into the heart of the mountain, and there's fresh water in there, and there's like medical stuff, like lots of it, and there's weapons, and there's generators, and there's a, like, he's like, there are more torches down here <laughs> than I can count. 
He's like, there's wood and there's charcoal. This place is stacked. Like, anything you need, this place has got right now to right. survive. Hmm. The manager shows up. He's like, that was part of the bargain. Like, <laughs> when the, the company that bought this place grabbed it like part of the way in which they were able to purchase the land and and the building was that they had to abide by Carmody's last wishes which were to keep it stocked like this at all times it turns out like it would have cost them more money to get out of doing that than to just <laughs> accept it and keep it up like that so right. that's what they do right and you have to carry 500 pounds of salt pork as well. <laughs> yeah, I maintained your storerooms with black powder. <laughs> the as strongest explosive known to man. Exactly. As it says in the contract. <laughs> right, yeah. <sighs> Kyle is setting up, helping to set up a, a perimeter along with Jade, and then he's like, and then Batman's like, get, make sure you get Jade below in the catacombs. Keep her down there for the fight. Keep her, I don't like. Yeah, keep her down, out <laughs> of the way, why? so I don't have to deal with her. One Green Lantern's enough. Right? Like, what is up with that? Wally gives Linda a big gun. She's like, oh, and he's like, listen. It's for the guests. He's like, you're gonna, he's <laughs> if like. If they don't want to relax, you make them relax. He's <laughs> like, this place is too big and there aren't enough of us. Like, I just want to Not have. Not enough of you. The Flash is one of you. Yeah, well, he could essentially be everywhere at the same time. He's feeling a little shaken. Those yeah. guys caught up to they him. They did, yeah. Superman got cold and got beat up and someone caught up to the Flash. If so. these monsters could catch up to the Flash, like, they'd already all be dead. It right? would be over. I don't understand. Can well, he outrun bullets? The Flash? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He could run, like, so at the speed of light. So if they catch up to him yeah. and he can outrun bullets, what good are bullets going to do, Linda? Well, I mean, I think it's more like that Flash is... Well, because some Flash of the monsters were big. Down. You know, they were a little different. They weren't those guys that were chasing the Flash. Right. So, so some of them are fast, some of them are strong, some yeah. of them are poisonous. Or whatever, right? Or, or like, they're all of the above. Some of them are skeletons. He's getting her <laughs> right. a last option. John goes to talk to Kishana, and basically he goes into her mind again, and like they, they end up like... You know, like a, like a memory, but not really, because she's like, this isn't my memory. What the hell is this? And he's like, it's, it's like- It's tied to your blood. Yep, it's a genetic <laughs> memory of some sort. Ah, what? what's that? And basically she's like in the outfit of like, what looks like Abel Carmody, right? Oh. Like, okay. Is she like Abel Carmody's great, great, great granddaughter or whatever? Yeah, she's, yeah. She's, yeah. She's, yeah. she's connected to him. Connected to him, you got it. So like they see like the past of like that fight, right? And like they see Wonder Woman is there and they're like, why is she here? And like, because she's got the gun. So it's like that connected. It's really weird. Oh, make she's it more... Freeman. Or one of the other ones. But she had his gun. It could have been well, his gun. I mean, they all had the same gun. Yeah, they all had that gun. Fine. That's a, that's a. But it could be. That was a, a Henry Repeater. Henry Repeater Henry rifle. Henry Repeater, right. Yeah, yeah that, which is gun. real. Yeah, and, it's uh, accurate for the time Dates to the Civil War. So, right. Yeah. Kishana's like, what does this all mean? He's like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm here to like observe and figure it out. And that's when they get attacked in the physical world by the monsters. As they're fight, uh, he's fighting them off. Linda shows up with the gun. Kishana takes it, and she's like, before I was a firefighter, I served two tours in the army. No. Oh. So you know, she goes for it, but Jean gets like slashed across the face, right? Oh no. And then Wonder Woman shows Yikes, up and like slashed good. Yeah. Wonder Woman shows up, and it's like cool looking. Oh. It's it just, looks like, I, when I saw this panel, when I was flipping through before, I thought she had turned into a monster and was she, fighting with the monster. Right, no, she's like half monster. She's like, yeah, yeah. she's not full she's monster She's fighting against yet. her own nature. She's almost kind of like Ripley in uh, Alien Resurrection. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Everyone, the cavalry shows up um, and, and they, you know, they, they beat back the monsters yet again. They uh, beat them off? Yeah, they beat them off. All of them all at the same time. <laughs> and then we wow. see that, like, yeah, the the... The hotel the manager is a bad guy, and he's just like, "Don't worry, my brethren, you'll be, you'll get your time." Ha ha ha! ha. And I'm like, "Yeah, we, we, we get it. Yeah, cool, whatever." Uh, Diana is really upset with the way she looks. That'll that'll come back again. Don't worry, Plastic Man's a bad guy. Yeah, that's, that's basically not really her. the biggest problem right now, Diana. I'm not pretty anymore. <laughs> you don't know what it's like to be pretty and then not be pretty. I also have a copy of four. <laughs> oh, nice. Ouch. <laughs> Yeah, jeez. Yeah. Uh, I think we all know I'm the most beautiful woman on earth. <laughs> right? Are you saying that Themyscira is very judgy? <laughs> yeah. L listen, here's what you need to know about these fights, right? They're going to keep coming. We're going to keep having stupid fights, right? But, like, then they'll just go away. Like, the monsters will show up and then they'll go and away. They'll just and stop. why are they doing that? Because there's a doorway, right? And the door will open up for a certain amount of time and then it'll close for a certain amount of time, right? And every time that they go and they leave and they come back, they have learned from it. They're like the Borg. Right. Like, so when they start using an attack, then they learn from it. So, like, 
and, nev oh, and they'll never stop. Yeah, it'll just keep happening, right? So right. like Jean had been using his like ability to like be um, incorporeal. Yeah, that's it. And uh, but inevitably they caught on to that, and so they like they are able to get around it, and they hurt him again, mm. right? And like Superman's like, oh no. And like flashes, you know, over there, and he's utilizing rocks that he's heating up because, like, they know that fire is a problem for these guys. Like, fire seems to be a good use, like, tool against them. Right. Superman's like, the torches in the basement lead to that. The fact right. that I've burned them, all of it. The fact that the forest is, you know, fire is a theme here, right? Right. John's like, Weren't some Damn of them it. On yeah. fire? Couldn't it not be fire? <laughs> Could it one time not be fire? <laughs> We know I, I have a problem with fire. Can I? Can we like tag someone else in? Any yeah. other? Can I eager? just go? Yeah. Can I just go? I will die. Yeah. There's no way for me to not die yeah. if our only weapon is fire. Yeah. Like I. I mean, I have heat vision, so it's like kind of weird <laughs> anyway. We, yeah. That's yeah, not, but like it doesn't heat, vision, heat me he's, up. He's, yeah. <laughs> apparently, still seems a little risky to right? use it. Right. Well, it's it. more that he's just he's afraid of it. Right. He's like he's terrified. Of it. Right. It's a phobia. Right. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not weak to it. Just, everyone's weak everyone's to fire. Everyone's weak to fire. It's fire. It's, just it's kind of the, like one of the great equalizers, unless you're like Superman, right? But if it's a magic fire, then I guess you're still screwed. <laughs> I would definitely consider this to be a magic fire. Right? Yeah. Um, Kishana shows up in order to help out as well. like, And they're like, why are you here? Batman especially. He's like, why are you here? Hmm. Get out of here. He's like, you're not a Justice Leaguer. They, because they've kind of established in like, between the, that the issue three and issue four, that like, they clearly had interest in Kishana. Like the monsters are clearly looking for her as well. Right, like they have a couple of agendas here, but they're definitely going after her. What's up with that, right? Right. Kishana's like, I'm here because Jean called for me. I could hear him. Every time that they get like they beat them back, Superman just gets more and more like grumpy about everything. I just want to mention that. He's like, like he's this just sucks. Like, I hate this. I hate, this I hate is, not being able to beat this. This is the worst adventure we've ever been on, everyone. I don't think you understand. I solve multiple problems every minute. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't fix this problem yeah. over the course of hours. Yeah, and I like skinned my knee today. That's not cool. Yeah, no, I'm done with this. Yeah, this is trash. You guys, I'm leaving. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is, for the first time ever, I bit my tongue. I hate life. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I wish I was dead. I bit my tongue and it hurts. <laughs> So uh, they noticed that, like, that since Jean was like attacked now, they're like, kind of like, is he gonna transform like Diana did? Do we need to worry about this? Right. What about Plastic Man? Plastic Man also got injured. Yeah, but yeah, they're not. Did. Are they ignoring him? They're they're not worried about like, that. Like he's fine. I don't see any Is blood. Chris Claremont ignoring him? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe we all should. He's, he's kind of a creep. Was it just to show like how super serial it is? Like, yeah. They got Plastic yeah, Man. Yeah. No, it, it is. Maybe it was to show how close he got to her skin. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Kyle Rander's like, okay, so with Jade, I think she and I, in shifts, could just transport everyone out of here. It would take us a bit, but we could do it. And Superman's like, that's never gonna work. He's mm -hmm. like, we're in the mountains, surrounded by all this, like, this wall of rock, there's storms everywhere. It's like, he's like clearly coming to the conclusion that it's like, it wants us to stay here. It doesn't matter, like, if you try to do it, it's not gonna work. Batman actually backs him up a little bit. Mm. Where he's like, 50 miles or 50,000 miles, it's not going to matter. This place isn't letting us leave. Like, right. There's, it's not logic. Yeah. Okay? Like, and stuff I, that should work will not work. Exactly. We're in a horror movie. We have to solve the problem, like, their way. Yep. Look at me, Batman. My I'm body spiky. used to be flawless. <laughs> oh. And now I'm nothing but spikes and edges so okay. sharp. And I'm like, all right. All right. Yeah, she really Diana. probably thought highly of herself. Yeah. Or close yeah. Claremont thought she did. Diana would be more worried about the fact that she was becoming something she couldn't control than yeah. the way she looked. Yeah, that's I think we can all ridiculous. agree with that one, right? Tiffany, um, how dare you? She's a woman. Right. That's all that matters. Sure. Yep. Sure. I mean, they did the worst thing to her that anyone could do to a woman, yeah. which is make yeah. her ugly. Yeah, they made her they made her gross. The manager is like, hey, if I could be any of the assistants. And she's like, no, I'll be fine. And he's like, of course you will. You're a hero. And then inside he's like, no, not for much longer. <laughs> and John's just like, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Uh, this guy. Hey, yeah. uh, this guy's really squirrely. Um, yeah. Isn't this the guy who said that, like, well, we had to maintain the, like, weapons and stuff yeah. by the... Like, if you are a bad guy, why would you do that? I don't know. Why wouldn't you just, I mean, like... I don't think he's doing it. He does work for a company that is doing right. that. So presumably it's not him doing it. It's right. someone else. Okay. And we get some more science stuff. 
Oh boy. Ethan, we get some Great. more science stuff. Um, sure, because if there's one thing that this book screams, it's like scientific Yeah, accuracy. yeah, yeah. So Batman wants to get a scraping from Diana, um, but uh, he does, but he needs a stronger microscope. It's not, he can't look at it. And mm. Superman's like, let me take a look at it. So he uses his vision, and then he says that it's non-organic. Uh, he's never seen such efficient nuclear networks and explains their aversion to fire because their environment must be absolute zero. Okay. So because they're so cold, fire hurts them. Yeah, uh, yes. It means there's no molecular motion at all. Nothing can like exist there. Yeah, like, and they so couldn't be later there. on they say that, that that's what's the, they're not moving, mm -hmm. but then they're able to go through this doorway I don't know how, but then when they get here, the reason why they keep evolving and changing is because like our atmosphere is like fuel to them. Like okay. it like supercharges their molecular structure and lets them to like change so much and you know. Oh, because there is motion. Yeah. That's what they try to explain to us later on. When we get to that point, I'll, I'll point it out. You can take a look cool. at it. Cool. Um, but we really don't have time for that because the doorway has opened back up again, right? They assume that Is there it, a physical doorway that these things are coming through? Then we see it? No. It's just, oh, it's got to be open. We heard a siren. Uh, they Superman keeps hearing it. He can hear the sounds, and they're also being attacked. You can see, like, the lanterns have responded. And it's always, like, pieces of things. Like, you never find the center of this being. So they're like, how big is this thing? Like, what is coming through? Yeah, yeah, like, we're seeing, like, pieces of a bigger thing. Yeah. Uh, it's Gaia, spirit of the earth. <laughs> Oh, and she's pissed. <laughs> um, she, uh, Superman asks Wonder Woman to find a bow and arrow and some like water balloons, essentially. And Are they she, gonna fill them with like kerosene? No, or? they fill it with water. Oh. And then I'm sorry, she, we don't have water balloons. We have all these condoms. Again, according to the bylines of the yeah. contract of this hotel. Yeah, you had to be getting busy at least once a week. Um, so she shoots the monster, and then Superman uses his heat vision and shoots the water balloons and then Superman and then Batman explains to us that um, he he turned the water into solar plasma. He turned the water into solar plasma. Yeah. He he superheated it that much. Yeah, he, he heated it until it, the the hydrogen and oxygen uh, dissociated from each other and then and then the hydrogen was heated so much that it became plasma. That's, that's what Batman says. Yeah, okay. So. And the oxygen helped it become plasma because right. it's, it's oxygen. Right. Because Batman said it though. So. Right. Um, we also get um, a, a moment here between uh, Kyle and, and Wally because Kyle's like, what is Superman doing? Now don't forget, Kyle Rayner is a, a comic book artist, right? Uh, and so Flash goes, yo, comic book guy, this is pure Lee Kirby. Which is interesting, <laughs> what? Because we're living in a DC. And now, no, right. granted, Kirby did work over there, and, and Lee occasionally, like you know, yeah. Stanley wrote a couple of things over it, but not really. It's just it's very interesting. We call them at, like outright, right? And then he basically goes like, "This is physics stuff, right, Batman? Like, please explain it to us, right? Because we're it's real. We, we don't know." <sighs> Um, so they utilize that, but they realize like every time they do one of these things, they're not gonna really be able to do it again. Again, it's that Borg yeah, element yeah, yeah. to like, it. Once we use a tactic, yeah. it's, it's the probably last not gonna be as element. effective. Yeah. yeah. So we have to be unpredictable, right? Like, <laughs> we need Joker. <laughs> He's totally unpredictable. He'll Perfect. That's seconds. what this book needs. Quick, everyone, stand on a table or uh, <laughs> sing a song, but a song you've never heard. And off key. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never catch us now. Might as well where this is going. Through the chest. Yeah. Oh, God! oh no! I never saw this coming. <laughs> They've adapted. But little did you know, I moved my heart to my butt. <laughs> they didn't expect that. Oh nope, I'm dead. Um, uh, while okay. this is all happening, uh, Martian Manhunter is in fact uh, having a problem. He is, cha well, changing. He is changing. He is absolutely yeah. changing. And, like Kashana's like, uh. Um, Remember when I said. <laughs> That it didn't matter how you looked. Do you still like me? <laughs> oh, oh, I like shallow for saying that. Don't want to be you're... Okay, it's... no, you're beautiful on the inside. That's all that matters. Ooh. I have to leave. <laughs> uh, as it turns out, I'm already in a relationship. I'm sorry, I was wrong. I, yeah. I was wrong, you're hideous. I was wrong. No, it is possible to be more hideous than you were. This is the worst thing I've is, ever seen. Yeah. I've actually never seen anything worse than this <laughs> right now. I, I, no. Marshmander grabs onto her and he's like, I need you. And then the, like, kind of, like, imagine it was like a blink and it's like, she's like, where are we? And he's like, we're in my mind. Oh, his mind. In okay. his mind. And, okay. and he's, she's like, We got to see some of your memories. I figured you could see yeah, some of so my memories. Yeah, they're, so they're on Mars. And she's like, cool. And she mentions that that's Olympus Mons. Hmm. And the fact that it's a volcano and stuff like that, right? 
And then they talk about the fact that how the volcano came to be and how it was it was during a great and terrible battle for the soul, um, not just for the Martian race, but for our very world. And the, 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 the thing that they were fighting was so horrible, they didn't even name it. They just referred to it as winter. And I'm like, okay, so we're indicating that we've seen the, these beings before. Oh, and that winter is coming. Right, that the Martians have that. Yeah, right. right. It, 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 so, Claremont did it first. Right. <laughs> so, so, so they're saying... Yeah. That yes. this thing mm -hmm. that we're dealing, dealing with, with right here yeah. is like a a, a, a malevolent a, being. Is it the thing that destroyed like the Martian society, or it's just a thing they dealt with at one point? Well, that is that is because uh, like that's a known thing, right? So so that is very much what Chris Claremont is trying to say here. Um, oh, but, the the irony is, but it wasn't. The irony <laughs> is, um, Joe Kelly would in a few months also write a book that explains oh. why the Martians are afraid of fire and what happened to them. <laughs> okay, so it hadn't been told yet, I guess in-, but, in but it's basically being written. But it's 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 happening. It's happening. Yeah. Right, and, and this is like, not And Chris Kleinman's definitive... like, but, but like, what, what if it was also this? What, what, what if it was also this? Well, this is my idea for like, what, what if it was be. this instead, right. right? Yeah, is the doorway between Earth and Mars? No, the doorway is between Earth and something else. Now, I know for a fact that Claremont is taking uh, like Lovecraft as like an example. So it's like an Eldritch Horror. It's an unknown cosmic being is on the other side of okay, this thing. Okay, cool. Right. That's right. better. Right? right? So it's like some kind of magic. And we're never going to know what's back there. Okay. Oh, that. Damn it. You know what? No. And, I'm okay with that. And uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so but whatever it is was also on Mars. Presumably, that's what John is indicating. Right, and he'll indicate well, a couple we, of we more went times. This? Why didn't I remember this? Oh, I'm such a dummy, stupid John. <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, that that information would have been helpful. Yeah, previously, John. Right, but like if you could have remembered a little sooner. But he also so that's where it gets a little confusing though, because Claremont's like setting this up to be like why Martians are, like, partially why they're afraid of fire. Because he kind of puts that in there, and I have a feeling it's because they're like, Joe Kelly's doing this, man. It's not, no, no. It can't be what you said. Right. Well, Later I guess on, it's not, I guess he's not saying it's the thing that, like, caused his race to get wiped out. It's something no. from their, like, deep past. Right. It's like a legend for them. Right. Okay. I see. Right. But it is probably why they're afraid of fire. He says that later on. Ah. Uh, it, like, it's part of the reason. And I'm like, but it's, but it's reason. not. <laughs> But, no, no, but, but it not. is. No, but it is. But it, no, but it's but it's not. <laughs> who are you gonna okay. play? Me, Chris Claremont, or whoever wrote that? Or Joe the Kelly? person who's Joe doing Kelly. the actual Justice League right <laughs> yeah. now? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that guy. <laughs> okay, but I said it first, I, so I called dibs. Uh, dibs. Uh, we don't we don't operate by dibs right here, Chris. <laughs> it's not a thing. Uh, Marvel they operate by uh, dibs. Wonder Woman puts on a, a, a buckskin shirt. There's no reason to know that except for the fact that she's like, if I feel more human, then I'll like, then I'll be better. And I'm like, so. The reason we it's just want all about appearances. It's you about know what appearances, it is? but it's also like that's an. I want a new outfit. I need a new fit. I, just, I can't stand it anymore. No, it, part of that is also you can tell that she's starting to lose it a little bit. Oh, like, yeah. Like I'll put some skin on, I know. and then I'll I'll just be better. I'm oh. fine. I'm good. If my I'm, skin's all gross, I'll just put on a new one. There we skin. go. We're fine. Okay. Um, you well, see, it's, it's coming apart. Yeah, the whole oh, thing's it's all, going like, Superman's cranky. <laughs> Batman's yelling at everybody. Marsha Man, I don't even know what he's doing. So if this I'll wasn't as doing. bizarre and somewhat hokey in certain aspects, this would actually be much creepier. Yeah. Because they are starting to devolve and like lose their sanity. No, no, yeah. no. If, if the book was literally the only parts that I'm telling you and you didn't have to actually <laughs> read the words that were written, it's not a bad story. Yeah, I'm kind of having oh, fun. Oh dear. Right? Yeah. But like if you actually have to read this, you're like, okay. <laughs> Hotel manager, you can see he's got some sort of icy thing going on here. He's doing something, he right? Can make ice he's walking down the hall like Joker, yeah. right? This is very much The Shining. This is like there's this malevolent guy who's like yeah. secretly a bad guy, but it's like really obvious that he's a bad guy, but nobody can tell he's a bad right, guy. And right. his magical powers. Yeah. And he's walking around in the basement like doing. Yeah, he's shit. doing stuff. He's and like he keep cutting well, to him. Like, it's like when is he gonna do right? something? Like he's in like, front of them. He's like yeah. creepily watching Kishana and and like you know Jean having a problem in the mental space, but he's like on the outside. 
outside right. looking in. Like I see, I know what's <laughs> happening inside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm part of it. Yeah. Man. So like they're like fro like the winter has found them in his mindscape, right? And like John's like, we're not gonna survive this. Mm. And that's when like she starts hearing like drums. Drums in the deep. It's like we're tying into the heritage thing. Oh. Heritage. It's, it's yeah. like I'm like. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's a dwarf. What? <laughs> yes. Yeah, her dwarven heritage. Um, Gimli was her great, 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 great grandfather. <laughs> um, but she essentially, like, she becomes this, like, fire being that we saw her earlier. He's like, he's like, I'm burning, oh no, argh, right? And then we see, like, Olympus Mons, like, explode, and she, like, grabs him, and she's like, I can see his patterns of life. Did his Olympus Mons explode? Not yet, but that's coming. <laughs> Just like he is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the parts of him that got, like, hit by the claws and stuff like that, or it's like a poison, and what it shows is like his life force is, looks like it's a fire, right? Like, it looks like it's fire, even though like he's terrified of it. Right, right. But it's the, ironic. Yeah, yeah. But these fire bits are like cold and dead, and she's like, all I have to do is like illuminate them or reignite them, and he'll be fine. Okay. And so it works. And when they wake up, she's like, oh my gosh, you're alive. And he's like, no, I'm like reborn. And then like, he's, like they bang. <laughs> oh. oh, does she have to do that to everybody now? And like take the fire bits out of you them, know, that, and then also bang that them. That is funny. I, I had that same thought, it's and then I was the like, whole I process. guess that's. I guess that's because he's a Martian, and he kind of has a tie to this. That's what Claremont's saying. That's why this works. Right. Because I'm like, why doesn't she help Wonder Woman like that? I'm like, I guess because it's not, it's a different thing. Like he's not, she's not a Martian. The Martians had a tie to this in the past. Yeah, but, but now uh, the humans have a tie to it. And apparently, it's happening here. Yeah, Chris but, Claremont's and they're from another homophobic. dimension. So like, but I, I think it's just like no. He's uh, as but, alien to the other dimensional beings as want, humans are. I want Wonder Woman to become a monster later on. So oh, like, so I she can't need, help I can't her. Can't fix it. Okay, yeah. leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah. She can't think um, about it. Plus, they just too didn't sexy for her. It's just too sexy. It's too much. Oh, oh, can't handle it. Um, additionally, uh, the manager flings open the, the big doors that we were talking about earlier oh. to let the monsters in. They're like, oh no. He could have done that at he, any point. He opens the metaphorical doors, but also- But the like he went until everyone was like really messed up. Right, it's like now, now, now is when it'll doom them. Right, so like- Now is the winter of your discontent. Now <laughs> that they've figured it all out and right. might have a chance to stop them, now I'll open Now doors. I'll do it, there we go, ha ha, got it. Um, so John and, uh, John and Kishana clearly have banged and, and now they're sleeping. Jeez, you know, we don't have a lot of time, guys. Like, <laughs> hey, a, I'm going like, out. Help solve I'm going the problem. out having sex. Right, right, yeah. You could do that after we save but the what day. If, okay, but if we don't make it, then I'll be like, oh damn, I'm gonna die and I didn't bang. <sighs> Do you want me to die with regret? Yeah, okay. Is that what you're telling me? Fair point. Do you want me to die with regret <laughs> and blue Martian balls? <laughs> you know, I really don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. I don't give a shit. Um, so, Kishana is like dreaming essentially, or she's in her mind and she's thinking of the moment th that her and her team walked into the forest that day. Mm. And uh, it, Jean shows up, she, he's like, hey. She's like, I thought I was dreaming. He's like, well, yeah, but yeah. like, I'm here too. Oh, I'm here too. Yeah, but like, I can be in your dreams. But it, it is her memories though. Right. So he's like. You know, since I'm like a telepath and I could be your dreams, it means we never have to be apart. Yeah, okay. Isn't that great? Wow, um, it, it's like healthy for us to, you know, have, <laughs> Some separation. It's like separate lives. Why well, we need to though? But because it, it just you know. I can just be in your mind. I can just be with you all the time. But in like, fact, I'm, physically, I could also be with you all the time. I could just yeah. phase right into you and uh, be all okay. show once again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, like, why wouldn't you want to be as close as possible to me? I don't understand. I I, mean, I just I think that maybe we should see some other people while we're. Uh, oh. Yeah. So they basically relive what happened, and and the fact that like Kishana like has like some severe uh, you know guilt from this, like survivor's guilt, mm. where yeah. she's just like. I, I wish we'd not gone into the forest. And, she, and she's like, I, I really wish I died with them. Well, yeah, she was there. And leader. like, Martian Manhunter was like, oh, that's how I feel about Mars. <laughs> oh. <gasps> we're, we're this just is another thing we can bond over. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. Well, okay, you're moving a little faster, buddy. Let's... Right? And that's when a white buffalo shows up. And Kishana happens to know some about, something about that. She's like, that's significant. Okay. In what way is it significant? Is it good? Is it bad? Well, it's albino. Well, for her, like, she she takes it kind of like as a positive. Okay, so, it's a good omen. Yeah, that's how she's taking it. Okay. Uh, the white buffalo then turns into a woman. Uh, the white buffalo woman, and there's a bird with her uh, who is identified as a, as the Thunderbird. And then they fall, and then like Kishana realizes it feels cold. She starts like panicking because she knows what happens after it felt cold is mm. when her like teammates showed up and they were scary and horrible, right? Right. Um, and then she wakes up, and the two of them hold each other, and it's very sweet, right? And Superman's like, I can hear them. Yeah, Miss Lewis is afraid, and I'm like, 
Oh, what, what gross. else did? Okay, you're okay. you're a creep too. Okay, yeah. look, cool. if we're all going to die and Lois is not here, I'm at least gonna listen to these two people bang. Right now, admittedly, she screams really, really loudly, so much so that people yeah, are I like, bet she does. right? <laughs> so like, Plastic Man goes, "That was some scream," and Wally's like, "Nobody said you had to listen." Oh my god! And I'm like, okay, so Plastic Man is just an outright <laughs> creep in this book, right? Yep. Just a creep. Yep. Total creep. He made his ear gigantic to hear it. Yeah. Right? Yikes. So, you know, doors been flung open, monsters are coming in, Wonder Woman's like, I'm gonna go hunting. They realize that the mitochondrial DNA <laughs> that she, that, that Kishana inherited. You mean just DNA? Uh, no, it's the... Ugh. It's the female progenitors, yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's so... Down from that the... she's the descendant of that woman, of the shaman, which hopefully okay. that means, like, Fine. yeah, so there we go. We're, okay. We got that, right? So they're like... And the mystical connection is carried by the mitochondrial DNA. Uh, and through the mother. That's, that's, that's why they both start with him. Bloodlines, I guess. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to tie it, tie it more to bloodlines and less about the Native American elements of it. Yeah. Because, yeah. So let's just let's just tie it to bloodlines. That's probably what it is, right? Is it because the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? <laughs> it <laughs> is. The mitochondria. That's what my science teacher used to do to make us remember that that was the powerhouse <laughs> of the cell. Just like endoplasmic reticulum or stacks of sacs that process and pack proteins. Oh. I will never forget that, apparently. I couldn't tell you anything else about the cell, <laughs> but I can tell you that. Um, so Superman realizes the, the, the mansion has been breached because that's all Superman's really done in this. He goes to the library, he gets cranky about things, he researches things, he makes you know quippy comments with Batman, and he, he realizes, oh, we're gonna be attacked. Yeah, because he's the, the radar. Yeah. Right. And like, so Wonder Woman's like, yeah, no shit. I'm, 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 like, I'm fighting everybody. Yeah. Um, we get a, a Thermopylae reference. She's doing like a hot gates mm. on them. She's like, well, your numbers mean nothing here. I, I, except that like, they totally like bust through and, and, and their numbers mean everything for them. <laughs> no, we um, learned from last time <laughs> that our numbers do mean something. Right. right. Uh, Superman and uh, Martian Manhunter have come up with a plan uh, somewhere in these pages. Oh, they, they come up with a, a plan. What was the plan? Uh, that they realized that there was a volcano under the lake and they're going to go set it off. Because they're like, that ought to close it. That much heat, that should close the doorway. Right. Right, that much fire, sure. let's do it. So they're going to go do that. Batman's like, uh, we're going to win this battle, but what about the war? Like, we got we got, a, we got a plan here strategically, boys. Right. How do we go to that dimension they're coming from and burn the whole thing? Right, let's burn it to the ground. I know, we'll nuke it. So they right? never come back. Batman's like, get down in the catacombs. And she's like, no, I'm staying. They clearly want me. And like, you clearly need as much help as you can get. Mm. And he's like, fair point. I'm okay. like, oh. Put on this Robin costume. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they they did they these yeah, they, that's really so just many what words. it is. They're talking about gods and all that stuff, and like she's like, uh, I think I'm supposed to do something, but I don't know if I have the ability to do that. I don't know how to do any of these things, but like clearly like I'm meant to whatever, right? Right. And, clearly, like, like, and, then, hours and then Batman just becomes Ethan for a second and he <laughs> just goes, It's too metaphysical for me. I prefer empirics. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Right. Fair enough. All right. Uh, like I said, uh, their numbers meant everything, and right. Wonder Woman is like being, you know, eaten alive by them. Jade shows up, and she's like, "Don't worry, I've got you. The cavalry's here." And uh, she burns away the monsters, and presumably the manager. Oh yeah, he's like melting. Right, but Yikes. kind of not, but yes. Uh, so she goes to oh, fight no. them, but Collateral it's damage. but it's too late because Wonder Woman has completely become a monster. Oh. Superman and, and Martian Manhunter explain to us what their plan is. Why does Wonder Woman always get turned into things? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I don't, another book I don't, where she gets turned into a thing. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's because of the, the, the supernatural, mystical, mythological qualities that are attached to her. Right. I don't know if it's because writers just don't know what to do with I her. I think it's just they don't know what to do with her. Right? Like, I, I, I Which is just, weird, because like, she's just Superman, but a woman. With right? a lasso, yeah, she can just punch stuff. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. we've already got a guy like that. We already got someone who can punch people. Why doesn't he turn into something? Right? I guess because they're like, but he's Kryptonian. He's Superman. Right. Like you can, like you can convince me that she'll be turned into something, but he's Superman. Right. I, I, I don't know. I don't he know. He turned into a wuss. <laughs> he did do that. He did. <laughs> um, I really do like Superman. I'm not so giving a hard time. I no, am, it's just he's I been am, like a bitch I am book. giving <laughs> like, this iteration of him a hard time. He does have some fun moments with Batman, though. Admittedly, there is like a little bit of like fun back and forth. I do like the idea of like, you know, Superman using his sight to like see things and Batman being like, show off. I'm like, yeah, that, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Once or twice. Yeah. 
Um, as you said, they can grow out a little bit. Yeah. So, so Martian Manhunter reminds him, like, hey, if this doesn't work, like, the ecological consequences are going to be devastating. Like, we need to keep this contained. I'm like, yeah. don't worry, we got Kyle for that because I don't know that Jade has been taken down, but I told her to guard the base, even though we really <laughs> should be using both Green Lanterns for this. But fine, whatever. Right. Kyle will handle this. Yeah, well, normally we don't even have more than one, so I feel like one will be fine. Yeah, one is enough. <laughs> so they utilize that. Sure. Kyle's doing everything he can to, to keep the building safe. It's not going quite as, as well as all that, but it's going well enough, I suppose. Okay. Um, and that's when they realize it did not work, and it's getting crazy cold again. The lake is freezing, and something is coming out of it, right? Oh. They're like, oh, we got to get out of here. So a volcano didn't work. No. So so Superman's like, Jean, we got to leave. Yeah, bros. How did Abel Carmody fight these things off in the first place? So I would say that because they mentioned Poorly. they mentioned that his wife died there, and I think she did it. I think she oh, was able to like because she had the magic. Yeah, or I think that she did it, and they they just, just there was no evidence of it, so they just wrote that she died, and then he never went back. Right. Because he's like, well, I did my job, and I like that place like haunts me, so I think I'm just never going back. To right. It. I think that's what they're indicating. It's, yeah. It's and not like, really explained. But right, and like it will come back, so I'll leave the thing stocked. Yep. I don't know how that would be able to stop them because it literally took magic last time. Right, but, but I think it's maybe like my someone will needs help. to stay here, and they right. need to like they're gonna need to survive the night until they figure this out. Right, right. It, yeah. it needs to stay stocked with the ancestral progeny of my people. They realize inside the the resort that like they're screwed, and everybody needs to get out. Like get out, everybody's gotta go. And uh, so, back the resort not letting them leave though. Well, no, but they need to like just leave the building. Like, right, they can't leave monsters, the area. There's but... monsters in the building. Right, there's like earth flying at the building. They're like, I I'm gonna take my chance. Look, outside. I want it to be like The Shining. It has yeah. to get like we have to go outside. Yeah, it has to get so, burned up at the end. So Batman and uh, Kishana and Plastic Man are together, and Flash is there too. <laughs> and like Batman's like, all right, Flash, you gotta vibrate the three of us out of here. Mm. Like vibrate us through this wall. And they're like, okay. And, okay, so when we get out there, uh, they're clearly looking for you, Kashana. so we gotta hide your signature, essentially, for them, right? So Plastic Man- Son of a bitch! I need you to just envelop her. <laughs> I need you, I need her to wear you like a suit. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no. And that's why I, I, I hit I the, the like final that. cover for you. Um, ah! <laughs> Oh, that's horrific. This is this is completely unnecessary. This should not have happened. I don't understand why Chris Clement thought this was a good idea. I don't know if he thought that he's like, no, that's scary. Remember in like a suit of armor, you can hinge it up. What if it was Plastic Man's mouth? Right? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. How does he talk? He says, don't worry, this only looks gross. And like, look, he like gives himself boobs. Well, yeah, because he's like formed to her body. Right. Uh, yeah, so then um, Wonder Woman shows up. Is it, is it possible <laughs> yeah. that Chris Claremont Here gave the artist the direction of like, no, he's just gonna cover her. And the artist was just like, okay, I know so, exactly what you mean. So here's the thing, I happened to listen to an interview, because there isn't a whole lot of information about this book out there, but I heard an interview um, that, that someone did with uh, Claremont, they had a chat with him. And when they asked him about this book, he's like, oh, is this that like, the four issue or the six issue or whatever it was, like he wasn't sure which one it was. And I guess the six issue, he was like, okay, cool. And they're going through it and he starts remembering some things. And he's just like, oh yeah, that was the one. And he specifically remembers this moment. <laughs> like this is what, like this is a thing he remembered, right? Like, yeah. so I think he put it in there for mm -hmm. sure. Cause I think he was like, that's like kind of creepy and scary. Right. And I'm like, yeah, but not the way I think you think it's creepy. <laughs> creepy, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, oh. admittedly speaking, I have a feeling someone at DC might have said, enough of that, because when you open it up, that's not happening anymore. Mm. When you open up issue <laughs> six, that, that is not happening any it's longer. It's oh, on the cover, done. and it's already yeah, over by the time over. you open the book. Yeah, they're like, uh, Chris, I don't want to see that in this book again. Yeah, we're not doing that. Right? Admittedly, a couple panels the of that, way in it. which this book also wraps up feels a little bit like they, Chris thought he was getting eight issues. And oh. they were like, mm, you get really? the, the six issues. Because I was thinking, uh, like, this has to be almost done, right? No, it, it is almost done, but, like, we like we take so much time. And maybe that's what it is. It's just poorly paced. Like, yeah. we just extend the front of it so much out that it feels like that was the pace he wanted to have. Right. And then at the end, it's just like, oh, my God. Oh, crap. Well, we just turned Diana into a big baddie. Yeah. You, we can't have that be the last issue. 
Well, there has to be a resolution. Yeah, but this is the last issue. Oh my god. Right, so they're like, she says that line again, um, and then she's like, oh no, where I'm on your side. It's totally cool. I'm an Amazon. Oh, yeah? I'm an Amazon at heart, right? And then Batman just kicks her in the face. Yeah. And he's just like, okay, so but, no, I clearly know that she's not a uh, plastic man. Get Kishana out of here. And mm -hmm. then Batman fights Wonder Woman, right? Which is kind of interesting because a lot of times when people think of Batman fighting Wonder Woman, they think of Hecatea, which is a book I don't think we've done on this couch, mm. um, but that has a, a, a famous Wonder Woman Batman fight. Um, but hey, if you didn't like how that one resolved, uh, check this one out where they punch each other for a while. How? 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 Does how doesn't she like mop the floor? With yeah, him. why is he not just immediately defeated? I mean, she punches. Well, I mean, him. look, he gives her like what looks like a karate chop. Oh, but she. Oh, is, he tried to bane her. She's with Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. She's a Wonder Woman and a monster. And a monster. And a monster. Maybe the monster actually made her weaker. Right? Yeah, that must be what it is. So they're hiding oh, in the forest. because I'm Batman. Right, that's... Yeah, but he's not even using, He's like, not even that prepared. He's, yeah, he's not using any of his, like, anti-Diana, like, Right, because, because I want to watch Batman fight her for two pages. <sighs> so okay. now I will. Sure. So okay. then they go into the, like, uh, Kishana and Plastic Man run into the forest. They hide because Plastic Man's like, well, at least most of the monsters that are coming out of here are too big. They don't even notice us. We're, like, ants to them. Mm. So, like, we'll be able to keep up with that for a while. And, like... Kishana's like, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. And he's like, don't worry. Like, you know, it's fine. You want to climb back inside me? Yeah, you, will that make you feel better? It's like a big hug. Oh, if only John Never. was there. Never. To actually comfort her. Right? Oh, yeah. Where is John? Oh, he's with Superman. Ah. They're punching this thing, the thing that came out, this big, scary thing that came out of the hole. Batman's down. Like, Martian Manhunter can tell that that happened. So, like, mm. he does lose. But we don't, we're not going to see that. We're not going to draw that. He I'm not going to draw hell. Wonder Woman defeating him. Yeah. No. I'm just going to say it happened. I don't want to yeah. see that. I don't have time it don't for that. Happen for I don't have time plot, for but... that. I have to finish the story in this issue. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, a... I don't have time. I have like eight pages I, left. We either get to see him fight her or we get to see him be defeated. You pick. Right. <sighs> I, I'd rather say, I'd rather have Jean say, oh, he was down then. Wow, that was a really cool fight. You could have accomplished both by having him like fight her for two panels and then get yeah. laid out at the yeah, bottom exactly, of the page. Exactly. Exactly. That's what should have happened. Exactly. So, um, Marshman sees also or knows that Plastic Man has uh, Kashana, and then he's like, "We got it. They're on their own. Like, we have to help them." It's like, "Oh no, she's alone with that creep." Yeah, that's <laughs> bad news. Oh, oh my God! It, I think. Oh my God! Oh my God! Is what? she wearing him? Oh, oh God! I can't look. I can't. I, I have to go, Superman. <laughs> I know I'm afraid of fire, but I need this burned out of I my I need memory. to go into the sun. I'm sorry, I have to go rip Plastic Man into. <laughs> into, I, I, I just, it's a thing I need to do right now, okay? Just give me a second. Um, Superman realizes that like everything that they're doing is just stopgap measures. He finally comes to that conclusion along with everyone else. Right. And that Kishana clearly is the key. And like, <laughs> Marsha Manor is like, well, Kishana doesn't know what the cost will be for this. Ah, drama. And then he revealed- The cost of what? Of what it'll do to her. Of what, what will do to her? Her defeating the monsters. In what way will she defeat them? Using with her, her power. With her power. Oh, with her power. The power. The right. mitochondrial power. <laughs> the, 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 what does that mean? Well, remember when she turned to a fire lady? Okay. In the that was in the mindscape. Oh, she's gotta do that in the real world. She's gonna do that in the real world. I feel like there's a conversation here we don't see where Superman's like, yeah, but like, she's not Lois Lane. Like, like we know, we stopped the earth for Lois Lane. Yeah, she's not like your one true love. Who the hell's Kashana Lewis? I, mean, I, don't, I don't give a shit. You barely knew this woman. Right? Then they come across a white elk. She, she takes it as a good sign. The snow's Despite getting- Despite how bad it looks. Right, exactly. <laughs> the snow's getting really deep. We, like, we're never gonna make it if we don't ride this thing, so let's hop on. Oh, so, you know, <laughs> ride the elk. Get on yes. my back. Yeah. Jade and Flash are still around. They're trying to hold everybody off as best that they can. The the pay, the guests who were at the resort have armed themselves, and they're mm. like, "Okay, so obviously you guys can't handle this. So we're the, here to help." I have a shotgun. Yeah, let's or see what a we can do. Henry repeating rifle. For Whatever I got, I got, I got a torch. Eighteen seventy five and a pitchfork. I yeah. made mac and cheese. So don't worry, Flash. Okay, that's great. That's for later. You can't yeah. fight with the mac and cheese. Hang on to that. Don't That's lose no, that. That's it'll work. I'll <laughs> give them my blood pressure. Okay. Well, you're playing the long game, and I appreciate that kind of thought. That's, well, that's, we don't have that's that good. kind of time. Nope. This is a little more immediate. One for the monsters, one for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, so you can see that like they're clearly being attacked. And I do kind of appreciate that it's like you can't really tell what's happening with these monsters, and like that's how they've been treated this whole time. Like right. Crazy skulls. It uh, looks like a foot coming out of the skulls. <laughs> We've it, seen too much of these things for them to be scary at this point. It's a little that, but like, I yeah. guess you're supposed to think about it, the fact that it's like- But you can't really tell what it looks like. That's the thing, like I keep seeing it, but I don't even know what it looks like. Right, right, right. They come from a dimension of primal cold. 
which is why Batman and Superman think that when they come here, heat overloads their circuits. Right. But on their side of the door, they're static, and why they evolve here. Okay. Like, uh, at lightning speed, our space must be like high-octane fuel to them, the nectar of the gods. It supercharges every aspect of their being. No wonder they're so determined to stay. Okay. So they want to stay here because they're like, this is dope. This is like right. this is like all the cocaine. So it's not really our um, atmosphere or anything. It's just the fact that like it's our, our dimension is not at absolute zero yeah. and theirs is. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. that. All right. It's it's a lot of things. Right. It's also <laughs> magic. But it's also that. It's yeah. also magic it's because a, eldritch beings, right? Right. So the and the, the, the Superman's weak to them. Yes. So that's just ma that's yeah, magic. That's just magic, but also this. But it's also but it's science zero. and magic. Yeah. Um. Whew. So the, the manager's still alive, and he tries to, like, presumably this is one of the claws of one of the beasts, so I think he's trying to make Kyle Rayner change, and I'm like, that's kind of cool. He's just like, no, and you're a monster. You're a monster, and you're a monster. <laughs> Everyone's a monster. Thanks, Oprah. Right. Okay. Um, and, and Kyle does start changing, right? Right. Like, he's just like, oh, no. I, I love this. He's like, oh, no, I'm becoming a monster. Oh, no, what am I going to do? I just, okay. <laughs> I well, guess at least that's, I'm not in body parts in a fridge. I guess that's, that's my story. <laughs> right? And Jade's like, okay. All right. This is not working out. Uh, so the ride, like, uh, Plastic Man and Kishan are riding along on their, on their elk through the forest when the elk is skewered by bone spears. Oh, my God. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. And, and then it starts changing yeah. because they it, were monster bones, right? Right. I that, thought the elk was symbolic. Like the buffalo, I didn't realize. I mean, no, it is symbolic, it but is, it's also just. But an it's elk. also a very much an elk. <laughs> yeah, very much vulnerable yeah. to okay. having a bone spear so, thrown through it. Wonder Woman shows up and she's like wearing Batman's cloak, which I'm like, that's kind of cool. That she's like, cool. this is my trophy. Yeah, I beat him. I beat the bat. I've always wanted a cow. And now I'll wear this. Um, and and so she like starts attacking Kishana. And uh, you know, Kashana's like, "No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your ass." She, you see a little bit of fire, mm. there'll be a little bit of power. And she tries to punch her, and like she does, and like she punches her across the forest, oh. right? And Plastic Man's like, "Okay, cool. Uh, how will this help us?" But that's when the guts or the whatever of the elk, which are evolving now, like le leech out and grab Plastic Man and pull him in. And I'm kind of like, you know what? You deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You deserve this, Plastic Man. Yeah. yeah. Now something's gonna wear you. Right. <laughs> um. And uh. And, and so like Plastic Man shoves her away to safety, and she's just like, oh no, the world is screwed because I don't know what to do. And I'm like, yeah, yeah that's, you did that's punch true. Wonder Woman though. Yeah, you so. did that. So that's a good start. You're doing good. It's a good start. But I mean, like, there's like really big monsters, and like we really need you to kind of deal with that. Yeah. Which, I need you to get a handle on what your yeah. power set is. Could and, you hurry up and do that? Uh, what would you say you do here, <laughs> Kishana? I don't know. And I'm like, oh yeah, all right. You know what? Maybe Abel should have left some notes. Yeah, that would have been helpful. Something. Um, and then she gets like. Maybe she needs to unlock the memory. Right. Oh. Midnight. Um, no. Um, she gets lassoed by something, and you're like, okay. So obviously, Wonder Woman pulls her up. It's like strangling her. It's a noose around her neck. Right. But as she's touching it, she's like, it feels like it's alive. It looks like a tongue. It, it does look like a tongue, but it's Plastic Man. Oh. Oh, it's his tongue. Gross. Oh no. No, no it's, it's, his, it's his. It's his body. And it's... I'm like, could we stop? Could we stop? <laughs> you know what's the most horrifying thing in the world? Plastic man. Yeah, apparently That's Plastic why he's all Man over this book. is the JLA scary monster. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's not the monsters we became, it's the monster we had with us <laughs> the whole time. And so Superman and, and Jean show up. It's interesting because he shows up in the form of like a bird. I don't like the thing they saw. Like the Thunderbird. Oh, right. I'm like, oh, that's a, is, that, is that a thing? I is don't he know. Rare? No, because he, he's also like there. I don't know. Okay. I, I can't tell if that's like interpretive so that we know who it is or, or that's actually what he looks like as right. he's flying in. He, he I am him. both bird and rider. <laughs> I am one. Yeah, I'm doing all of that. Yeah, I changed form into me riding another thing. Right. So he like, she, he attacks Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman like punches him looking like she put her hand into his chest. I don't know. Oh. Sean is like thinking to herself like, oh, the elk like brought like strength and the buffalo brought me wisdom and I just gotta find my courage on my own. So she's having her like own like revelation and like Jean's like, no, Diana, you don't get it. And then we drop this line and I'm like, what? <laughs> You're kind of in, in my memory as well. From a battle so fierce, it laid waste to the souls of my entire race. What? So remember before we were like, he says that it's like a legend, which makes you think it's not 
Right. And you're then saying? he says this, and then I'm like, are you trying to tell me that, that you're making it out that these monsters are what took care of the what, Martian race? Wouldn't he remember that? Apparently not. Or was it that like, no, only their souls. Right, yeah, yeah. It was it's thousands of years. We had no souls for For, for the know, rest of the, I don't have a soul. Yeah. I don't have a soul. Yeah. Yeah. We just, we just kind of got used to well, it. You are one of the reasons we cannot abide fire. Cool, uh, so Kishana yells, do it, John. And uh, he like uses his vision, his like heat vision on her. And it causes her to like break form her, like, break free her mortal coil and become this crazy fire lady. Oh, um, so she just needs to be set on fire. And she just needs to find transform. her courage or whatever. Like I don't know if it's symbolic or whatever or literal. I don't know. Presumably, it's how, literal. How did she know that him hitting her with his heat vision wouldn't just kill her? Dude, how does anyone know in these situations? <laughs> right. That, I know. Like, did, <laughs> did he oh, know? Oh no! <laughs> oh, she's dead. <laughs> oh no! Maybe I should have tried it on like a piece of her hand. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> oh, that's I thought this was one of those moments. <laughs> You know, we were yeah. building to. Right. I just and blasted like, her it. face off. Oh. Plastic man, oh. can you fix this? <laughs> can you put her face back together? Can you just, I'm, gonna... I'm literally a noose around her neck right now. I'm yeah. a really bad metaphor, <laughs> oh, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not good. Oh. Um, and, and, and so, okay, like. so she becomes a fire being. She, she becomes, like, ever, like brighter than, than, like, the brightest light you've ever seen. Like, she turns midnight into noon and, like, across the cosmos people like think that uh you know it, it's the birth of a star or a whole galaxy but they'd mm. be wrong right the birth of a star that would kill people yeah, yeah. The, the, the whole area for like hundreds of miles should be like laid waste yeah yeah and 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 like literally like people like jade are like i am on fire right now like people everyone's like oh, dying right? right it's really hot all and, of a sudden and then at the end it, it, there's it's like a miracle everyone wakes up magic right Mitochondrial magic. Science. Magic. <laughs> All of it. Scary Everything. monsters. <laughs> spooky it's... monsters? Uh, I'm sorry, scary. They're scary monsters. <laughs> I apologize. Excuse me. There's something spooky in here. So all they had to do was just activate her by having John shoot her in the face with his lasers. But only after they banged. But yeah, but after she had found her wisdom and strength oh, by right. meeting the buffalo and right. the elk. And the rest of it was just a sideshow. Yeah. Yeah. Presumably, I guess the idea is maybe the, like, Maybe Claremont is saying, and again, this is probably all incorrect, that the Thunderbird was meant to be the courage, and so that's why he showed up like that. Mm, in so bird like, form? Yeah, and so like he was like, he was he, the final piece. He sparked her courage. I, I don't know. So so anyway, then Kishana shows up, and she's got uh, an outfit. We're not going to talk about it. Nope. Are we not going to talk about it? Because what the hell? Is it just like the tattered remains of her previous outfit? I mean, no. Oh. What is that? It looks like it's Plastic Man, but it's not. Like it looks like it's like it's just form fitting something uh, over her boobs. I Yeah. It's, it's that and it's also bizarre disco medallions down her pants. Yeah, it, yeah. it's 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 a it's a scene. Okay? Is she a new character? That, like she's a new superhero that so we're going to have. So that now? is what he wanted to do with this. He had desires of taking Kishana Lewis and developing her more, right? Like there were more stories to be told. Right, she was gonna right. find a lot of problems that she could just burn. Right, well she needs, <laughs> she wanted to know about who she was, like, you know, right. and she clearly has interest in Jean, right? Now the problem is like, when they get back, by the way, for a second she looks like a Martian because of their joining. And he's like, that, that'll wear off, that's just for a second. It's like, whatever. It's the, it's, it's, it's just so telepathy. It's a little piece of her what? imprinting onto uh, him, him. Imprinting him, onto him, her. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, it's but an illusion. But it's just what he, it's just how he sees her it's maybe? Because, it's because their powers merged. Oh. That's what they're saying. Like that him. So she's but like part Martian. I think it's just did, they wanted to draw it. They wanted did, to see that. Chris Claremont literally bring a phoenix over into DC? <laughs> well, like what? kind of, like sort of, but like no, because she's not evil. Yeah, but she it's, is like a bird character who like, well, goes on fire. Like, well, like she's like a fire lady who turns on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a bird involved. Yeah, the bird well, is like was, pretty important. The bird, there is a bird, but she doesn't become a bird. No, but the bird like the bird, arrives. But so is the so is the elk and the buffalo. Yeah. So it's anyway, so then they like try to kiss, and then there's like a crack of something, and it's like, oh no, you can't kiss. That's that's literally it because like now she has become like. Like fire, essentially, right? Oh, I like, thought it was like, like she became she's, like she is, a being. No, she she thing. is the avatar of fire, and so Jean can't handle kissing her. Oh no! Like the will they won't they I just, mean, just right. got amped up. Or he could just deal with it. Right. It's like 
we can be together, but we can't ever make out. Yeah, and he's like, oh no, that's not gonna work for me. Peace! <laughs> oh, that's just not gonna work for me. Well, that's oh. a deal breaker. John, right John's there. getting some, somewhere. And if it's not from you, I'll find somebody. Right. Um, Okay. And so she, like she's like we're not done. We're going to make the, we're going to figure this out. No you won't. No you won't. <laughs> we're not done. You're not gonna you show will up never exist because no one will use you ever again. <laughs> Which is kind of a shame because as much as it's like if if this had been handled more delicately with actual sensitivity to lore and heritage, this is an interesting character. Hmm. Like you know what I mean? Like it it is a female character from like a BIPOC heritage, like mm -hmm. there is something interesting she there. She's a firefighter. She's a firefighter, she served in the she, army. She's like, a firefighter she, post 9-11 too. Yeah, like mm. she could be like a, a powerhouse of like strength, courage, and like someone to look up to. Right. And she's utterly forgotten because yeah. she wore plastic well, man. Well, she did wear plastic man that one time. I don't think she really had a choice. That really wasn't her decision, <laughs> she, which she is its own. It's not, he's not an outfit she picked she's not, out. She Let's did not that select way. that. That that was not a choice. <laughs> Let's just say plastic man doesn't it's look not good a choice. on anybody. <laughs> no. But I mean, like, there is like something interesting to that character. And like, here's, here is what's extra interesting. Joe Kelly, or while this is, series is going on, will launch a series called uh, Trial by Fire. Mm. Uh, it's a part of the JLA um, in which they will explain Martian Manhunter and why the Martians are afraid of fire. Right. Yep. In which, like, he ends up, like, working with a villainess. I think her name is Scorch or something. Mm -hmm. And she has fire powers and they fall in love. Okay. And uh, inevitably he discovers like through like working through this out, like he turns into the like a burning Martian and they discover that it's, it's burning Martians and that's where this all came from. And the guardians like curse the Martians to whatever, like, and that that's why, but I'm like. But right. Burning Martian wasn't like a big musical festival that they had in the <laughs> deserts of Mars. No, and they, no, no, but they should have, <laughs> they should have. Um, but I just thought it was interesting that two just Justice League books within the same year come out in which John has a relationship with a woman who has fire powers. It's like mm. one person said it in a meeting. Right. And they're both like, Got yeah. it. I'm using that. Either Claremont said it or Kelly said it. Right. And, and the other one's just like, Yeah, that sounds good. Well, maybe, well, we could do that better. Maybe Claremont said it and then like, he wrote this book and they're like, uh, nah. They're like, How about no, this ain't a do over. This ain't it. It's that got said, a rough backstory, though. Yeah, that said, you'd you'd have. I mean, like, listen, there's there've been there's been at least one crisis, if not two. Ooh, since true. Then. Mm. Uh, couldn't we just crisis her? Couldn't we just say it's not that and like do a different story about her? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you could. No one will remember this. Right. And no one it will, will never ever reference up. this. Yeah. The Justice League fighting an eldritch horror, something yeah, that is trying to come idea. into that world, that's fun because it's a being that doesn't care. You there's no there's no like, oh, we have to I hope. Have a reason. There's no whatever. Like there's yeah. none of those. You can't rely on those laurels. You just have to figure out how to close the gate. You have yeah. to figure out how to stop it. Like that's neat. I like that. That I, is cool. It, unfortunately for me, it's like really limited by the setting. Oh no, this does not. This yeah. does not do it. It's like, you, you could have done something really cool with it, but it's like, no, no, but I also want to just do like a haunted house story. Yeah. It's like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of too many ideas all at once. Yeah, yeah, they, it's, you crammed a lot. What if they had done it at the Watchtower? See, that would have been interesting. Like, yeah. it, it, it's cosmic horror, right? Yeah. It's coming from space, it's coming from the moon. From the moon, right? And that's like, well, that's a, that's their home. Right, that's and you're, and you're setting it up that like, most people are on call, they're not at the Watchtower. Mm. Interesting. You could also have done it on Mars. Right? Get Did our asses you, uh, there. Like shit's coming from Mars. If you want to pick this up, uh, you're gonna have to find floppies. I can't help you with that, unfortunately. But I, you know, if you want to read it, go hunt it down. It's probably in a dollar bin near you somewhere. Although apparently they didn't sell a whole lot of them, so I don't oh, know. Maybe it's worth something. Could, could be super rare. It's worth nothing. <laughs> um, it's worth a, a dollar. Per, per issue, if that, right. maybe 50 cents. So yeah, if you want to go find it, I'm sure you can track it down online. Someone's probably got a few copies of it. Don't pay more than the cover price for this. Don't find somewhere where it's like, oh, well, it's on eBay for like 50 bucks for the set. That's kind of a lot. Well, that's kind of a lot. 250 yeah. per issue. Yeah, yeah don't even pay close to the cover less price. Than that. Um, but otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. As Sal would say, keep reading. Maybe this. One. We're gonna say keep watching. Yeah, keep watching. Keep just, just, watching. Wa just, just find one of our playlists. Keep watching. There's, there's just more. There's more of this. Don't you want this? Yeah, Sal wants you to leave. We want you to stay here. Come on. What's wrong with that?
<laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> Ten dollars. You got ripped off, yeah, my friend. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I, I paid as low as I could for it. Yeah. I'm stopping this now.